Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, -on -one exclusive content, behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there, me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. The best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Bitch, the cold leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But T.S. makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tell Miss R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Like gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. for norm. I don't care whatever happens to Candace, but bless her heart. The premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the f along, because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black motherfuckers, because you black motherfuckers don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round away girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender or their sexual preferences. I what? just want to know where you found this wig at. Don't you do this to me. We're both sitting up here looking like women with shortcuts, so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off. We also have Mo, the engineer, who gives the straight perspective. Deuce time. What the H-E-L-L? This is an LBGTQ show that's curated and created by us for you. I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not going to disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we're going to read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all are right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. It's morning, and we slept the night away. <laughs> Shout out at the suck, I want to say. It's Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning, Maddie in the morning. Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, honey, it's 9 o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. Love you, you are my life. Happiest moments were complete if you weren't by my side. You are my ration and connection to the sun. With you, no, 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 darkness, I can't overcome. 
<laughs> a bitch got their hair done more this morning. I see. Bitch got their hair done. I see. Bitch got their hair done. I'm so in love with you. You set me free. I can't do this thing called life without you here with me. You got that song so stuck in my head. It's just better. Because <laughs> now that it's stuck in your head, I need something stuck in my ass. <laughs> Dangerously in love. Dangerously uh. in love. Yeah. Oh. Mind you, we said we don't need that type of love, though. Oh, for him. <laughs> Not for me. Not for me. Not for me, nigga. <laughs> End up busting out car windows and oh, holding you up at gunpoint. Mm-mm, I don't need that. Oh, <laughs> dangerously in love, yeah. Girl, it's Saturday. You know, the children need to be. I know if y'all kids home, bitch, you need to put them there in front of the watch the kids' cartoons. Cause we're about to talk some shit today, honey. Yes, we about are. to have some Saturday conversations. Now share this with a friend. What you something looking like looking today? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Missy Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> y'all already know that the show is sponsored by Bolt Vodka. We about to pour it up, pour it up. Watch it all fall out. <laughs> Pour it up, pour it up. <laughs> That's how we ball out. <laughs> but we don't got the strawberry one. Oh, yeah, we still got the scra- yeah, strawberry. The strawberry margarita. You got the scraw. Some of that. You got the strawberry. Oh, yeah. oh. In the name of the Father. Ooh, yeah. See, you ain't got to come over here at the church tomorrow, so you can still get, you can still be filled with the Holy Spirit, mom. Because <laughs> you come over here at the church like you did the other day. We were filled with the Holy Spirit. It was, we call that show Holy Crap. <laughs> I was still filled with the Holy Spirit. No matter where I go, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. No matter where I go, no matter what I do. There you go, Mo. I appreciate you. You're always welcome. I'll fix you a drink anytime. <laughs> anytime. Any place I'll fix you a drink. And I don't want to stop just because niggas in cars looking at us. Oh, that's Not good. A- Ain't it? Yes, it is. You know I know how to make a drink. Y'all get y'all some bought. Now, y'all already know we drink bought walk around here. And because we drinking bought walk around this bitch, we're going to say a lot of things that we don't need to be saying. But that you going to love. Said. This is going to be said. You know what I'm saying? Mo, you can't come in on a Saturday. Yep. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> when I think about you, my feelings can't explain. Why after all this time, my heart, heart still feels pain. When I look at you, I'm just not the nigga love <laughs> like no one like before. You stay on my mind. Well, we have swung over this bitch. I don't yes, know what the hell we talk about, bitch. We be having a good ass motherfucking time. A good ass time. drinking alcohol, talking shit, and we don't really be talking to nobody. We just talk about what goes on in the world. Yes, we do. And being that we talk about what goes on in the world, uh-huh. make sure y'all run down there and get y'all a ball. Get y'all a ball. Use my code, Maddie Ma. Get your ball. Get your ball on. If you don't believe that ball is good as we say it is, let the white boy tell you. Mo, let the white boy tell you. Here we go. Here we go. The about. ultimate strawberry lemonade featuring Bolt Strawberry Vodka, Alize Strawberry, and Mini Man Lemonade. Let's make that shit flow. Let's set this lemonade to the side. We're going to go ahead and pour up our Bolt Strawberry Vodka first. Go ahead and check them out because this vodka is delicious. We're going to go ahead and put about an ounce to two ounces. By the way, 
the gear is from Bolt. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pour up the Alize Strawberry. Brand new to the market. Ooh, oh, we spilt the little guys. Darn, man. I'm always good at spilling shit. Anywho, let's go ahead and pour up that Minute Maid lemonade the rest of the way. Use any lemonade you want, but we're using the Minute Maid. It's easy, convenient, and accessible. Give that the good old quick stirry stir. All right, without further ado, the ultimate strawberry lemonade, Tickle Me Pink Bolt. That's refreshing and delicious. Strawberry, one of my favorite lemonades ever. You got to give that a go and let me know what y'all think because I'm giving that a 9 out of 10. So give it a go and let me know. Until next time, stay fresh. Give it a go and let me know. No G coming in. G G? G. Oh, G. Oh, okay. They got to make sure that I put this alcohol away. <laughs> Like How do you know he ain't even watching the live? Well, he probably. <laughs> I get sick of being attacked. Stop attacking me. <laughs> you, it is Saturday. You know he come every Stop Saturday. Stop attacking me. You know he come every <laughs> Saturday. There you go. <laughs> Stop attacking me. I feel attacked. <laughs> I can't live. Here. I can't. How do I live without you? I'll never. Oh my God! Know. I can't take it. It's just getting on my nerves now. Like damn. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah, I just can't have a cup of so. Look, he better be drinking a uh, uh, a seltzer. That's a coconut water. Oh, what's good? That's man? a coconut How's water. Good? Oh my God. Oh, Miss Mary, Mary made that. She let she made you song too. She made you song too. So you, if you can eat it, I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So we uh today's Saturday. And um, usually I don't come on Saturday because I be out of town and stuff like that, but I'm home this week, you know, for a couple of days, you know, and then I'm gonna do my thing 21. Um, let's talk about this clip right here. Did you take the music off, Mo? I did. I did. You sure? I did. You don't trust me no more? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we just need this first clip. Is it the first clip? It's the first clip. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time Bitch. I see it. <laughs> Bitch. Every time I see it. <laughs> the way he hauled ass Did out you loop it? I didn't loop it, but I think it's this long. Let's let's take this down for a second. Okay. Baby, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Baby, let me tell y'all something. When oh. I tell you I love Santana, <laughs> motherfucking Saucy Santana. I love Saucy Sam motherfucking Tana. Oh. Santana said, fuck that. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> the way Santana Man, pushed. Nigga, Santana cleared it. <laughs> the way he pushed. The way that nigga came down from out there, <laughs> hit that ground, and hit it with his pocketbook. <laughs> Santana said, I learned my lesson Santana from the said, time. not me, girl. Learned my lesson. Santana said, not today. <laughs> Please, can we watch this again? Oh. <laughs> we got to watch this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness. Santana got out of there and the way he just, and it was the way he walked out though. It, it was like, it wasn't a run, but it wasn't oh, a it walk. Was, it was a run at first. <laughs> and then it was like, okay, coast is clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I never see the I never see the security guard move that that forcefully before. He, he forcefully moved that nigga. <laughs> nigga move. These bitches over here fighting. I'm 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 signed to a label. I've been shot, shot before. <laughs> bitch, I done been shot, shot, shot at, shot, bitch, I, bitch, fuck that. Oh. I'm a punk in here. <laughs> fuck that shit. I don't trust these niggas to have my back. None of them, because they because <laughs> Because believe you me, they don't. <laughs> believe if you me, they don't. 
You, you, he's successful. He's rich. He's jeweled out. He signed to these labels. He did. That'd be a motherfucking. That'd be a doorway to a bitch to just pop you just because. Especially when two <laughs> women is over there fighting. Because I done yeah. witnessed this kind of shit with my eyes. I seen it with my eyes. I done seen it with my eyes before. Bitches in the club fighting. Punks get over there and then punks just get hit for no reason. <laughs> like I wasn't even in this. I wasn't even in that. <laughs> That's what Santana was thinking. You just want to <laughs> pop me just because? <laughs> Hell no. Oh, this is your chance, huh? Somebody said, I stand with Santana. Correct. <laughs> I stand 10 toes down with Santana because I'd have been meeting him, out, meeting him by the door. First of all, I wouldn't even been in there. First of all, this is why y'all hoes don't catch me out and all that type of stuff. Not because I have any fear and not because of this stuff. I just don't. I just don't. I'm not a mingler. Like, I'm not yeah. going to be sitting up here mingling with the, with the folks like that. You get what I'm saying? If my coin in there, because I know when my coin there, I got 19 security guards around me. Bitch, go to fighting over there. I'm having them toss it out because this is my event. Right. I, I don't, I'm not hanging. This is why I don't hang out. I'm not hanging out. They say, y'all want to see it one more time? All right, one more time. Right. <laughs> Let it play through. <laughs> <laughs> Santana got the fuck. Mo, Santana got the fuck. He got the fuck out of there. He got the fuck. Santana was not playing. Santana no moves. <laughs> Santana was playing no game. Nothing. <laughs> he said, Oh, y'all fighting? Fuck, like, this is what he did right in that picture. <laughs> what he doing in that picture? That's what he did. He said, Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. <laughs> is they still fighting? Yeah, they fighting. Look oh, at yeah. Him. He got up before that went to going down. Yo, I didn't see this all the way. Because <laughs> you were paying attention to Santana? Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, they will fight and fight. Oh, it's cars around that side. Centennial in that car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What y'all think about it? Which what, part? What the part? whole thing. Oh. <laughs> Listen. That TV shit right there, that's what I be talking about, that TV that TV show shit. That TV show shit will have you out there in the streets throwing hands with bitches that's your cohort on TV. Yep. And that's what we was talking about yesterday with Bravo giving them hoes. Alcohol, storylines, and all that type of shit. I'm so glad Santana clear, cleared the way from that. I'm so glad. I am so glad. Bitch, I'm so glad. I am so the fuck glad. And if anybody got a problem with that, something wrong with Oh, that. well. <laughs> oh well why would Santana put his life on co correct 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 <laughs> why did he run like Andy LeBest <laughs> <running? laughs> <laughs> he should have <laughs> he should have hair weave nails lashes <laughs> bitch, baby gone <laughs> Uh, there's lashes good all over the place, correct? They said, Who still well, not glitz? Okay, now you say, Who still fights that I big at me? <laughs> <laughs> now, I didn't say I wouldn't motherfucking twirl, tussle, and get in the paint and or shoot. I didn't say I wouldn't do none of that. I, when it's other people, shit, I'm out. When it's when I'm only a co host, with, a co, not a co host, with a co star uh -huh. with y'all bitches on TV, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that, right. Straight like that. Now I'm at this big age. I'm still gonna twirl, bitch. I'm still gonna get out there, motherfucker. Get these elbows, knees, and back, but back, <laughs> bitch. I'm still, bitch. Just, just a, what, what that mean? Cause you not got older, you don't know that stance, huh? Did you see that bitch yesterday? Knock that. Oh, yeah. Go play that bitch knocking that white man out yesterday. <laughs> you play that bitch knocking that white Hold man on. out that we talked about yesterday. Hold on. So that bitch got about that chair. That bitch was handicapped. <laughs> And got up out that motherfucking chair and put them dukes up and say, what's up with it? Knock that motherfucking man to the other side. Sure did. It's, it's gone. Oh, yeah, it's gone. I delete because I had to make room. We ain't got no phone them on. No, I, I put it in your computer. Oh, yeah. we'll tell. We'll, yeah. we'll do it. Let this happen. We saw that bitch get knocked that man yesterday. She did. So, you know, it ain't and it, there is no age limit to, to running hands. No, that's for everybody. Uh, hands for everybody. 
Ain't no age limit to running hands. I'm just being straight like that. But it's an age limit for when bitches running hands and you over there in that shit and you ain't got no business. Get the fuck out. Play Santana one more time for, for the role for on the way out. This is how we leave in this conversation. Just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> baby. When I tell you Santana, oh. I fucks with Santana. Man. I fucks with Santana the long way. Man. The way that I, I'm sorry, it was just the way that Santana got out of it. It's the way Santana came down, hit it, move that security guard like bitch. I'm out of here because y'all not finna have me. <laughs> y'all not finna have me locked down, clean, clean. Y'all not finna have this, this shit not finna be on the news about me over there with some shit. Right. These is two women's is over here. These is women's is squabbling. They put glitter in the wind. Hell no. Nah. Now that don't mean Santana can't twirl though. Just because you run away from a motherfucker fight or you leave, you leave, you flee the scene from a battle, that don't mean you can't twirl. Right. That just means I got other shit to lose. I was smart. That's all that means. I'm smart. I ain't getting in that. That's that shit. Your they say it's time to skedaddle when people stop fighting. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> You let you let me be out of the event. Y'all saw, man, you let me be out of the motherfucking event and some bitches go to get into it. <laughs> I will be easily escorted out by my people. First of all, my people's is going <laughs> it's going to Kevin Costner be <laughs> they easy right on out of there like, hey, 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 hey. no, shit. This is how I make my money. Fuck that. <laughs> Protect the queen. <laughs> Y'all don't see Julius how does Julius be down there on Beyonce? Uh, Julius don't play that shit by Beyonce. Beyonce <laughs> dropped glasses on the stage. Julius was over there like, hey, get them glasses. <laughs> nah, that's the type of that's the type of fucking time I'm on with my security. That's that's the type of time I'm on. Motherfucker be ready be ready to stand up in the corner, ready to beat bees off your ass, bitch. <laughs> so I uh uh hell nah. They said they already know you with the shits. Yeah, I'm with the shits. And the motherfucker will haul off and hit me just because. And I got to keep being like, oh, shit, this nigga done hit me. Now I got to be over here twirling with a motherfucker. Who's sending you something more? Oh, legs. What's she talking about? She just said, are you live yet? Yes. I just texted. Mm-hmm. texted. Tell ball. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They I just know. texted. We done already run ball. In the beginning, we always run ball in the opening. All right. Uh, they say, why he push? It said, "Let me see your, let me see you run, run, run." <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of uh, being in positions and uh, not knowing how to really figure it out, let's figure this position out right here. What, what is this call? He really cocked that good. <clears throat> huh? You sure? Nah. We don't make fun of nothing. But I know y'all sit here just like I, I see the comments right coming in slow. Because y'all y'all tried to figure out what just happened. So it said trigger toes. So because we can't figure out what happened, we're gonna play it again. And Mo put the sound on so I can talk over the video. Oh, there is no sound. Well, put, oh, oh, you mean our sound? Yeah, oh, okay. put the unmute me so I can okay, okay play the video. You. Now un Um What the fuck is going on in between the sheets of my home? <laughs> I need are y'all looking at this? This shit, wait. <laughs> I told you he cocked the gun. This he nigga cocked, cocked the, gun. the gun. Yes. And, 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 and held them up at gunpoint. How are you paraplegic, it is? <laughs> How's you a paraplegic? Did he what is you going what you gonna get away with? <laughs> I, what? Oh. And you know who sent us that? Who? Miss Mary. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I saw it and I was I was baffled when she sent it to me. I was baffled. I was like, what the hell is going on here? And then and then he turned sideways with the wheelchair. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> somebody said disability <laughs> check ain't cut. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have questions? Oh my goodness. I got a lot of questions. I got, I have, give me one of your questions, Mo, you got. How did you learn how to sh- 
to how did you learn how to cut? Does, 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 so I want to do you eat with your feet like that? <laughs> most likely. And you in the chair like this. <laughs> Who you gonna sell when <laughs> I was in the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not funny, but it is. Oh. <laughs> he cocked that shit back and said, Give me your money. We got to watch this again. <laughs> the sound's going to be so on. Too. With your, right, this nigga got Hercules toes. They said we going to hell today. <laughs> <laughs> like that nigga said, "Yep, give me your money." No, Maddie, Maddie, mm-hmm. the dude, the dude standing there that's walking around, mm-hmm. he's with them. Yeah, they doing it together. Why did you give the good dog guy with the toes the gun? Because that's the real shooter. <laughs> that's the nigga with the good aim. That nigga, that nigga got the perfect aim. <laughs> he said that with a mask on, folded up in the chair like this. <laughs> Arms ain't moved since birth. What? Arms ain't moved since birth. I don't even think he had arms. I don't think he had any <laughs> arms, Maddie. This is a stick up, stick up, and that bag of that money. <laughs> na 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 na. Diva is the female version of a hustler. <laughs> oh my goodness! I need some investigate reporter, Maddie, my folks, to get over there and figure out what the fuck is going on. What the what the hell happened? They say when bunions, wait a minute, when bunions and coins come in handy. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you said they playing a role for a movie? Okay, well. well. All right. Okay. Well, shit. Foot and eye coordination. <laughs> Basically, that's what that now is. Now you got to be worried about a bitch when you see a barefoot. <laughs> oh, I'm this- already scared of bitch when they were walking anywhere barefoot, but now you got to worry about a bitch barefoot now, for <laughs> real. Oh, this bitch about to stick us up. They put, he's got toe jam. <laughs> oh, my God. Like his toes busted. I mean... Well, they said it's armed robbery. Well, he won't get charged with armed robbery. <laughs> <laughs> he, he won't get charged with that. <laughs> Alexa plays Stomp by Kurt Franklin. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. They said a leg up robbery. Watch their feet. They got this still, this is a very impressive if it's a movie. Yeah, I'm going to see it. I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to, to get me a piece. All right, let's go. Let's, what else are you talking about? Barefooted mama? bandit. Barefoot bandit. He said, I ain't going to hell with y'all. Well, shit, well, you, well, you, well, either you get there first or we get there second. But well, we going. Especially for that, because I'm talking about it. Well, speaking of robbery. What happened? This is what happened in uh, Watts, I, I believe, a couple of days ago. I'm in shock. Look, what? Oh, my good loving. I'm in shock. They young as hell. They got trash bags in their pockets. We about to come in line. They really taking the whole store Wait, the why, security. Why the worker looking why? at him? Yeah. Only in the fucking Nike store in Watts will the kids come in and rob and they don't do absolutely nothing. They are filling up their whole bag. Do you hear me? She asked me if I want to save my card on file. Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, no shade. Uh-huh. They really teach these people how to do it. <laughs> that shit is FDIC, federally insured, like the bank. Let them niggas go in there, get that shit to keep going. Ain't no use of you over there losing your life over a bitch that's in high school yeah. that will shoot you down by some joy and is a fuck you up over some joy and go to school, go to jail 10 years and come out and still be 23 years old. Fuck that shit. Somebody said, at this point, I want to do it. My God. Listen, I'm just telling you, 
there's these them niggas is young. They will fuck you up, will stab you, shoot you, maim you, do some ill shit to you. Yeah. There is no fucking reason why you as human beings need to be out there tussling, bustling, rolling around in the grass and getting your motherfucking block knocked off by somebody that's 13 years old, 15 well, years old, will go to jail and still get out and be in their 20s when they get out. For a hundred pair of dollars shoes. For a hundred, well, that's more. Listen, now that's more than that's more than a hundred pair. No, I'm talking about each. I'm talking about each pair. Not, more they not, left there with least. How much Jordan? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about all together. Okay, so, so Jordan. Yeah, it depends if you got Jordan. So they there. got garbage bags of Jordans like that. Not just Jordans. They had some like they had some. Well, that would. How much inventory you think? About thirty thousand dollars worth of shoes. You think? 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200. No, no, that's over two hundred. That's at least about a good. Maybe like two, three Gs. They say they bag. say some states have no chase laws. I listen, I don't give a fuck what state got it. I, I, I they don't ain't nobody paying me enough to get my motherfucking be, my cap peel back or my block knocked off because some motherfucker want to go in there and get some shoes that the company mass produces in China for forty five cent. That's true. Not China, Vietnam. In Asia somewhere, not Asia. Well, well you know what I mean. That's oh, Asia. Oh, that's Asia. You right. You know what I mean. James, can you put some lipstick on me? I don't feel like my lips got lipstick. Hey, y'all. Oh, Korea. All right. Well, shit, 45 cents a damn day. Girl. Girl, Miss Marion, I got her hair braided, girl. <laughs> and she done read out here to let me have it because she done had her hair braided. You know what that means, James? You need to you need to sew that wig down so it don't be slide back like that. Get her a good sew in. Get her a good sew in, girl. She done ran out of here to show me she got she got knotless bantu braids going back. <laughs> yeah, she got oh, the Cleo set braids. Off. The set it off Cleo braids. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Her up. Uh, they say, let's see Miss Mary know when she get her hair on, y'all will see her. Jameson and they're pulling her together. You know. Come on, yes. I'm, that's why I'm in lipstick all. You know. Yeah. What's up, Facebook? They say, let's see how Miss Mary. Put my lipstick, put my lips on. Hit the cheering gag. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't do that. Do it. Put my lipstick on. I like my um. I guess I love my hair. Thank you. You're the sweetest. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. See, cause y'all hoes asked me yesterday. Well, where was Jameson at? Right here. The nigga right here. What the hell? You gonna get him blasted in the door? That's crazy. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Yeah. Y'all can have it. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not chasing it. Yeah, okay. They was asking where you was at yesterday. They thought I don't understand what they. We just was together for four days, doing a whole show. You know, you get fired every week. Stephen don't get it. Stephen, you get Stephen. You be fired. Stephen get fired. All y'all get fired. I'm going to. I need to get a contract. I'm going to. You got just one. Get minded in. You don't need oh, no contract. You good, just like you will. I don't even think. I don't even think Maddie tried it yet. Mm -hmm. What is all this shit? 
What is on what? Yeah. <laughs> Don't oh. put this plumping shit on me with this stuff. Be... Don't put that plumping shit on me. I don't want that on me. Thank you, darling. Thank you much. I didn't know. You gotta get your phone. Your phone's oh, sitting right here. I'm trying. I'm definitely. I'm definitely going. I'm definitely going to taste uh, it now. Our you? day. You say today your 23rd birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. All right, Miss Mary, get her hand. Now push the dough up, Myrtle. So, nobody's losing their life over no motherfucking Jordans. No. If you do use a damn fool, cause use a fool, and the spirit of the Lord ain't in you. <laughs> so we moving on right on. They did just fine what they was doing. Right. She said you want to keep your card on file. Yeah. You <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, now don't put your card on file down there. <laughs> now they still look. Don't put your card on file, <laughs> cause they may get you. You know. All right. Let's go. All right. So we have a. Uh, I was going to. I have to do a screenshot of that. But um, let me go right here. We have something that happened uh, lately, but we haven't talked about it. What happened? Clothing store owner, uh, Laura Carlet Carleton. Yeah, murdered. Carlton murdered by a man who confronted her by hanging a pride flag. Yeah. You know, this is, this, is, this is so sad. And she wasn't even gay. She was an ally to the girls. Right. And again, this is what I was trying to say in my conversation the other week when I was talking about how homophobia and transphobia affects all people. All people. Y'all can fight me tooth and nail on the, on the comments and the shit that I say about stuff. But then I could talk about something on Friday or Monday mm -hmm. and by the, by the middle of the week, my point gets proven. By the middle of the week, my point gets proven. All the fucking time. This is a shame and a disgrace. This person was holding, was hanging a flag outside of their business in support of, in support of LBGTQIA people. This is super insane. And you're going to see a lot of, of homophobes and transphobes out there say shit like, um, well, they shouldn't have had that hanging up there any motherfucking way. Because I did see somebody, when I saw the story, I did see some people, you know, had that up. Like, well, they shouldn't have had that hanging up any motherfucking way. They shouldn't have did that anyway. And it's just like, damn, you know, the moment that you you show your love for your people, like, what, what is what is the what is the real disdain for gay? What's the real? I want to know what the real disdain, the real hate is for gay. Can somebody explain it to me? What is the real hatred? Don't let the, the what you call it build up. Sorry, I was reading. I was really trying to find it. What is the real hatred for the for the for the gays that that you would have to hurt somebody innocent? This is an innocent person that support people that ain't doing shit to nobody. Gemini twin. Gemini twin. Hey, Gemini twin. <laughs> Walk with the Lord and the same as Jesus do and never hate. I don't know why people don't understand that it doesn't matter what you are. What you are, who you are, is not your job to fester that baggage. So I'm trying to figure out, do, does this person really think that they're going to heaven? You said it's the Bible. You say they think we come, they don't think that we coming for no motherfucking children because the statistics definitely show that the, the, it, the what takes and rapes children is the straights. Well, that too. But what takes and rapes the children is the straights and the straight identified. They always somewhere taking and raping the children. Always. So I'm just trying to figure out. What in the entire fuck is 
What's the pressure? Like, where does this pressure stem from? Where does it, where does the, where does the pressure for the gay stem from this bad that this lady couldn't even, this lady got killed for hanging a flag and she's not even gay for hanging a flag outside of her store. This is her store. And I read in the com comment section where somebody said she shouldn't have had the shit up there anyway. You said Puritan colonial thinking. You said they hate what they didn't understand. Shalom, Maddie, you are right. They are straight who <clears throat> molest, rape, abuse, and want to master over people. They need to get off the planet. <clears throat> you said they've been chopping and screwing the Bible up since slavery. And correct. Uh, honestly, people don't like others living out loud and loving others. Think of whites that were killed during slavery times and helped blacks. Um, that's why I don't hang flags. Nope. I mean, ain't nobody gonna walk and come knock on my door and tell me because I'm gonna shoot you when you ring in the door. But what you here for? Put the, everybody. If you don't have a ring on your door, one of them things to talk to the people when they knocking on your door about some shit. Get it. I don't answer my fucking door. I don't answer my motherfucking door, bitch. The, the Alexa talks to y'all hoes at the door. The doorbell rang. Alexa, be hi, how can I help you? Alexa talking to y'all bitches at the door. You say, what did the Michelle say? Get the fuck out my porch! <laughs> Alexa is talking to y'all motherfuckers at the door. Play with your pussy, don't play with me. get it today because I need to know. It's just, it's crazy. All the colonialism mindset still fetches on this world. Them KKK and white supremacists didn't die in the civil rights movement. They grew up to be lawyers, politicians, government, uh, government officials, and governors. That's the comment. That's the one. That's the comment. That's the one right there. Because this is what I said. Just the other day when I was having a conversation about somebody, it was like, oh, master, you always blah, blah, blah. I said, if you don't like fags, I'm okay with that. If you don't like trannies, I'm all right with that. If you don't like blacks, I'm okay with that. And if you one of those people that don't like any of that shit and you let it be known, I respect you for letting it be known. I'm with you for letting it be known because you don't have to. Morally, you don't have to. Neighborly, you don't have to. I'm with you. But what I'm not with is I don't want you to be a police officer. I don't want you to be a governor. I don't want you to be an elected official. I don't want you to be serving over my food. I don't want you to be a hospital worker. I don't want you making legislature. I don't want that. I don't care what you do in your home or what you proudly walk around with, with your flag and your beliefs. I just don't want you in places, in positions of power. In positions of power to make, I don't give a fuck. When a motherfucker say, oh, you, I don't like trannies. I'm not trying to convince you. Good, bitch. You out loud with it? Good. Where you work at? <laughs> Where you work? So you, in, you in healthcare? You don't need to be there. You need, you need to be a working home, motherfucker. What, what, you, what you do? You, you make laws? You uh you you fly planes, you nah. You don't need to be in those places. I don't give a fuck what you don't like. That's like telling a bitch, oh, I don't eat black eyed peas, or I don't eat beans. You have the right not to eat black eyed peas. You have the right not to eat beans. You have not the you have the right to be a pescatarian, a vegetarian, or whatever. Well, you have the right to be all of that. You feel me? But I don't need you making menus for everybody. You feel what I'm saying? Well, like those ex, those nurses did. Yeah. You at your job. Talking about something, you got motherfucking icks and you a nurse and you got icks. Just like I, was, I report them hoes, fire all of them. <laughs> Why they keep coming in here being sick? Bitch, you a nurse! 
I don't really. It's something about the ones that be coughing all the time. What did you choose the job for? <laughs> I personally stand with people who stand on what they don't like. If you don't like punks, I'm not trying to say that with your chest. Say it with your chest. I'm not trying to change you from that. Say, it, I don't like punks. I don't like punks. I don't like dykes. I don't like niggas. I don't like spicks. I don't like trannies. I don't like faggots. I don't like, say it with your chest and mean that. I support you 110% by stand, standing in what you don't fuck with. I just don't want you. Don't be fake about it. Now the fuck don't be fake about it. I don't want you to apply, I don't want you to be a police officer. Yes. I don't want you to be a nurse, a doctor. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to be a legist. I don't want you to creating laws. I don't need that. We don't need none of that from you. Right. Work on an oil rig. Or yeah, go do something else. Yeah, work on an oil rig. Go do uh, something else that, that, that don't involve faggots, punks, or dice, people, training people. Don't that don't involve people. Blacks, go over there and yeah. go do something else. Yeah, be a be a trucker, an ice road trucker, be an ice road trucker or something like that. You know, go I'm do something else. Why the fuck do you want to be a judge? <laughs> Why you want to be a judge? Because your agenda is I want to lock them all up. You go in with that agenda. You want to be a police officer because you want to be able to be in a position of authority. You want to be in a position of power that you can that you can take what you your disdain that you have for a certain set of folks and you hide behind your power to do it. Somebody said, be a bill collector. No, nah, don't be that nah, either. No, don't be a bill collector. No, nah. nah, don't be a bill collector. No. No. Go play with polar bears or something. So, yes. No, you got it right. <laughs> Come on, you know what? You got it right. Go play with polar bears, bitch. <laughs> Go play with wild animals in the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Be a lion table, you know. Do shit like that. Yes. Well, you could be. This could be one with nature. <laughs> <laughs> so it said, be an Instagram. Model. That too. <laughs> please. <laughs> Even though it's enough of them motherfuckers, but please go do that. Oh, so they go play in the bottom of the ocean. Now that I would love to see. <laughs> oh, they should be in the submarine. Go out there and get it in the merciful. <laughs> Let's see you explore. Go find the Titanic, bitch. Uh, go, go, uh, go find the Titanic. Deal with inanimate objects or, or nature. Be a magician. <laughs> And poof, just vanish. Yeah, be the next Houdini. Be the next Houdini. Vanish. Go out there and do stunt. <laughs> be a stunt double. <laughs> Play in traffic, you know? <laughs> you know what they should do? They should put whatever they hate on their chest. Yeah, they play in traffic. They play in traffic. Yeah, they should do, do that. <laughs> And see how many people see how many, see if you can dodge a car. <laughs> Go play dodge a car. <laughs> Not dodgeball. Dodge a car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Give a fuck. <laughs> so is it be a plane crash? No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my goodness. As a matter of fact, mm. How about y'all do pay for your say? <laughs> you know what? That's actually a good idea. Just pay. We, want you, we still want you to eat. How about you do pay for your say? Yes, please. If you go over there to www.payforyoursay.com <laughs> and use Maddie, code Maddie 100, you can make money from home. <laughs> you can make money any time of day. You ain't even got to really deal. They'll pay you. They'll call you up and tell you, how you like those apples? I don't like them. <laughs> Why? Because they niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I don't eat that fruit. Why? Cause it, it's pink. Because they're faggots. <laughs> <laughs> Go over there, visit www.payforyousay.com, okay? <sighs> Payforyousay.com. Now, it's going to take you $100, but you're going to be up and coming, making your money. Right. Every. Now, Mo, don't you this week, don't you this week, you, Mo, you, Craig, and Kim got a Zoom coming up about talking about y'all pay for your say. Yes, we do. It's going to be on Monday at 7 p.m. We're going to be talking about- So you're going to leave here and go over there and do it? Yep. Cause you know you're gonna be hit about them. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least if y'all watching, you know why I'm gonna be late if I'm late. All right. <laughs> I'll just go live from your phone. <laughs> While I'm working? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Mo, my question to you is have you uh since we since we're here talking to pay the pay for you say mm -hmm. have you just yesterday while you were here at work you were getting you were getting I was job. Get, yeah yeah i was uh i was getting um what you call it surveys and they asked they said that hey you qualify for a survey so know? so what does it take for you so so kim teaches you guys how to qualify for surveys yes. and she also gives you surveys that you will be qualified for right so since you joined the program, you joined the program one Friday, and I'm not, I'm, I'm yes, I am promoting because bitch, go ahead. I want y'all posed to be in the conversation. That they got nothing to do. It is even for you hating bitches, <laughs> you hating hoes that ain't got nothing to do and want to make some extra money. Use code Maddie Maddie 100 <laughs> or Maddie Mob. Both of them work. You but use code Maddie 100. Go down to payforyoursay.com. Maybe this will get a little pressure off your chest. You have a little extra money, right? Right. Well, you won't be sitting up mad at me for some shit I said <laughs> to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Payforyoursay.com. Use Madden 100. And when you use Madden 100, you can make some extra money in this motherfucker. So this, when you make extra yeah. money in this motherfucker, don't say I ain't never helped you out in life. You may go around right. and say everything else you want to say about me, but don't say I ain't helped you, you, helped you out in life. You know, uh, you say that's something that's said make a humanitarian organization. There go right there. Pay for you say dot com so that you can run your goddamn ass down there, make you some money, still talk trash about me, but you at least you'll be making money from home. Right. Uh, Mo, would you say that it's one of the what was one of the good things that you've done so far? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 been it's been very productive. Uh, Curtis Finch Jr. asks, Mo, have you gotten paid yet? I get paid every time I do a survey. Mo gets again. Mo gets paid every single time I do a survey. I get he paid. does a survey. They'll every give it to time you. He does a survey. Mo yeah, they, I mean, I haven't had to me. I haven't had to wait uh, a day after or something. I get it as soon as I finish. Give me a cup. Every single time yeah. Mo gets paid. Yeah. And, and they have Mo they, get G a cup. Oh, oh. Or G get a cup. You know what they said. You, you yeah. damn near stay here. <laughs> um, you say how much do they pay? Well, Star Child, each of the people pay different, each survey person pays different prices. Some surveys pay 200, some pay 250, some pay 2000. Yeah, the, the cheapest one I've done so far has been like 150. Yeah. So it, it's running down the screen. You say Sandra Rowe, yeah, Brandon, you say it's running right there. All, 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 everything you need is right there, yeah. running down at the bottom of the screen where it says paidforyoursay.com and use my promo code Maddie 100. Don't come over here telling me that the thing is costing 225 to, to, to load up. It's not 225 if you use Maddie 100. I'm giving y'all a whole discount. A whole discount. You're getting a whole discount. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Somebody yeah, in the comments say they had one for 2300 Hold on. Hold on. Where, 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 where? Oh, yeah. You see? Brandy Watts said, I did one for $2,300. Imagine getting $2,300 for your opinion. Right. See, and a lot of y'all, let me, let me, let me break this. Let me, let me make this clear for some of y'all. Brandy, I love you, baby. Thank you for saying that. A lot of you bitches give free opinions away. And you be giving free opinions away in my fucking comment section. 
what I'm trying to do is help you bitches get paid for what you say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Even if you don't fucking like me, what I'm trying to do is help you bitches get paid for what the fuck you say. So www.payforyoursay.com <laughs> Code is Maddie 100. That is, that go. And basically, what it's doing, and basically, if you if you are skeptical, if you're skeptical about if you're skeptical about paying the hundred, think of it as like this: you pay the hundred, and they're basically teaching you how to catch fish. If that makes sense. Well, they not just teach you how to catch catch fish; they also put the fish in your face. But you have to, but you have to be able to, you know, they teach you how to, to, to acquire these. They teach you how to acquire it. They teach you how G, to. You know what you look like? You look like a ranger. A ranger? Look, G look like a part. Y'all look at G. Y'all been asking where G been at. There he go right here. G come right here so the people can see you. Y'all been asking where G been at. Look, G look like a part ranger with his yellow and green on. Yellow and blue made green. There you go. G, G, G say. I'm gonna make you a little bit G. Yes, yeah, so and you only pay. They once. can't you see you. Look, why? Look, y'all can't see G. There he go, the Park Ranger. <laughs> Did you say the Park Ranger? You see him in his yellow and green. <laughs> the yellow and green Park Ranger. They people here were like brown. Right. Ladies, I also want y'all to stop messaging. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I also want y'all to stop messaging me every time y'all see G somewhere. Just talk to him. Every time y'all see G somewhere, y'all be telling me what? Oh, <laughs> they be on Twitter. I seen G. Well, talk to him then, goddammit. Shit, y'all be over there telling G. Y'all don't be over there telling on G. Now listen, G not my nigga, but y'all be over there telling on G. And I call G. I say, and sometimes I be like, G. I How heard do they be you. telling on G? They be telling on G. Say, what you be doing? <laughs> What you be doing? Just out. <laughs> They're running the G in the grocery store. <laughs> They'll see G down there to the grocery store and be telling on G, you know. Oh, he's so fat. Oh, my God. He's so fat. They talk about, does G know he's fat? He do. He do. That's why he do the stuff he do, because he know that. <laughs> he do. He know he's fat. He do. Believe it, he know he fine. That's why he. That's why he be seeing. He be seeing y'all seeing him. <laughs> <laughs> he be he G be seeing y'all seeing him, and so that's why he do the shit he do because he see y'all seeing him. <laughs> And then y'all run over there to tell me like y'all telling on him. That's the same shit y'all used to do with David. Me oh. and David be in the kitchen cooking. Next thing I know, hang on day, hang on, hang y'all gonna send me pictures and shit. It, it be it be the gays though. It was the gays used to do that shit with David for me. The gays used to be sending me David's dirty pictures and news and shit. <laughs> yeah. The gays be the gays be sending me uh uh showing me David's news and, and shit like that. And I'd be like, girl, you know, go on somewhere with that bullshit. Go on somewhere with that. You know. <clears throat> they ask him where he is. And I just talked to David yesterday. Because if you don't tell him, you know they're going to think you're fighting. That's what that's because they crazy. <laughs> they crazy. Because <laughs> they crazy. They don't see me with David. Had they, who I know they don't. Because they done heard a bitch. Who they feel that like. I know they don't feel like. <laughs> I know y'all don't feel that like. <laughs> They said Steve Harvey divorced his wife because she slept. Hold on. Go down. Hmm? Hold on. No. Down this way. <laughs> You hot, hold on down this way, Myrtle. Down which way you don't see my finger going this down. Way? Yeah. Oh, oh, you Steve see, you Harvard say, the, go say oh. down is this. No, yeah, but I have to go up, Maddie. 
They say Steve Harvey divorced his wife because she slept with his security guard. Well, she better get on pay for your sex. <laughs> <laughs> she better get on. Let me call Craig. Craig telling me to call his phone. There you go. Uh, so you better get on pay for your say. <laughs> Definitely, she better get on pay for your say. Because if that's true, she getting cut off. Oh. Hello. Oh, the shit ain't working. Hello? Hello? Oh, you on here, Craig? Tell him what oh, you... Oh, I didn't know if you meant to call me or not. I did. Tell him what you got to tell him, Craig. So we're doing a Zoom call this coming Monday. That's the day after tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time. 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's only for members. So for those of you that have signed up, Make sure you join the Pay for Your Say Facebook group and or the Pay for Your Say Telegram group because Kim has already dropped the link for the Zoom call for Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to be answering your questions. We're going to give you the anything that you have to that you want to have. Current members are going to be in there as well. They'll be able to explain to you their experience. I'll be able to explain to you in more detail my experience. Mo will be on that call as well. So if you have any questions, you can join, pay for your say. And like Madison said, use her code, Maddie100, scrolling on the bottom of the screen. Maddie100 or Maddie Mob. Or Maddie Mob. You can use Maddie100 or Maddie Mob, and it would bring the price from $225 down to $100. <laughs> All right? And like I was saying in the comments, this is the last thing I wanted to say. But like I was saying in the comments, some of you, I understand your skepticism, but some of you are more skeptical about something that we are sharing. You all have known us long enough to know that we're not going to put you in some shit that's going to scam you out of your money. That's right. what you do know about me and Madison. Right. But some of you are, because you don't understand it, are trying to say that it's a pyramid scheme. It's not any of those things. You're literally getting paid for your opinion. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, Greg. Yeah, that's it. So, so remember, when you join, um, you will be able to join the, uh, the 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 Zoom call on Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you're in California, that's going to be 4 o'clock your time, 4 p.m. Okay. All right. So that's it. All right, Craig, All right. get back in the comments. Somebody's asking in the comments, do they tag? No, they do not tax. But that's one of the questions that we'll answer. Is we'll tell you how quickly you get paid. We'll tell you how you get paid. We'll tell you all of that. But no, they don't tax unless your study is like a couple thousand dollars. I said on the live that I did with Madison last Sunday. I did a smoking study. You guys know I do not smoke cigarettes, but I told them that for the purpose of getting into that study, it paid two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. And yes, they did send me a ten ninety nine. I had to follow up my taxes next year. So in that instance, yes, but most of the studies are like $250, $350, $500, $150. So no, you're not taxed on those. Okay. All right. All right, Craig. All right. I'll call you periodically when the questions get too much. Okay. Okay, right. bye. Bye-bye. So I want to get back to talking about this thing the way that y'all be doing G. Like y'all do G like they do Julius. Okay. Y'all know Julius be over there carrying out. Y'all be y'all do Julius over there like uh y'all do G like Ju like these people be doing Ju this be y'all right here. Get on your ass, okay? I woke up this morning and hold you on, had hold on. Beyonce Giselle knows I'm finna get on your ass, okay? I woke up this morning and you had posted on your story. Now I'm thinking, oh, should have posted me, should have posted me, but you didn't post me though. You talk about Virgo season, and girl, I'm a Scorpio, no shade, okay? You talking about you want everybody to surround themselves in a shimmering human disco ball each night, and so you want most of us dressing in silver for your birthday season. Beyonce, let me tell you something, baby. Let me tell you something, baby. People been getting these outfits together for months now, Beyonce. What if they already got their outfits planned out? Is you giving out vouchers to, to get new outfits? I don't think that you is. You better tell be good to give everybody $100 toward a new outfit, okay? Beyonce, you want to do something for us? Do that out of the park line and redrop that metallic. Call the dealers. I know they got plenty of this shit in stock because Beyonce, this shit was high as hell for me. 
That shit was hiding in a motherfucker. It was it was hiding in Gucci Man, baby. We was in Atlanta last weekend. <laughs> we about this shit. Oh no! Now this is what y'all do to Julius. Hey Julius, it's Peach Tree. How you doing, baby? Look, I know you've been seeing all kind of videos over social media. It's got you thinking I'm crazy. You need a restraining order, but it ain't nothing like that. I'm just a Scorpio that wanna fuck. I mean, they wanna love you, right? I know Beyonce had you busy following her around, babysitting and breaking up fights out the elevators, but don't you need love too? I think so. I was thinking maybe you can come to the Waffle House, the one on High Bill Road, and um, we can get an all star special, and I can hook you up so slow and sloppy in the parking lot. Some real Atlanta shit. <laughs> the tour ends October 1st, so let me know what you want to do. I just want to please you, baby. I just want to please you. And it feels like ooh. y'all do this to every man. Y'all, y'all bitches do this shit to every man that's around me. <laughs> <laughs> you do it to Mo. You damn sure do it to G. You do it to David. <laughs> Every man that's around me, no matter what they identity is, whether they straight or gay, y'all do this shit all the fucking time. They come back and they tell me what be going on. You do it to Jameson. <laughs> I see everything. Your dirty noobs, I see them. Your little pussies, I see them. Your booty holes, I see them. Jameson, don't come in here like they don't be sending you shit. I'm, t- <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the, any man. They said, a, don't forget Craig. Oh, God. <laughs> no, Craig talks back to them. I'm talking about any man that be around me. I see y'all bitches in their earbox. Oh. I see it all that they put they to my poor Jameson. Yes. <laughs> Jameson has been getting it hard lately. <laughs> Cause he's the Spanish without the he's the Spanish without the group. Without the group. He's the beef the exotic one. He's the he, he's the exotic. What's that? Oh, you straight after that? Oh, after that? <laughs> they put Mo just ignores you. Uh do you ignore them, Mo? He said, "What do I?" It de- <laughs> no, it don't. Now, see, he said it depends. So, no, you just got ignored. <laughs> some of y'all they here entertained. <laughs> it depends on how you look, look. There's some people that come come wild, like, and I just be like, I don't know what to say to that. Like, you can't come in and just say, "I want to suck your dick." Yeah, I I don't even know you because that's just you don't have to know. It ain't about knowing. It's about getting your dick sucked. <laughs> So if you think y'all getting all that in y'all boxes and stuff like that, why you think I don't check my shit, my mom? Why do you think I don't check mine anymore? I just don't. If it's not a, if it don't come in an email, I don't be in my inbox. You see, I reply. You see, thank you, thank you. <laughs> People saying I don't reply. You look, look. <laughs> I reply. They put more the exotic one for real. A N E L. Really? Zamunda. <laughs> Zamunda, <laughs> you bitches be right in the bitch inbox. It's like I don't be seeing this shit. Sometimes I'm be like, man, can you tell these people to chill? Can you take really? them to chill? They say Mo, Mo the Nigerian stallion. Oh, really? <laughs> Seriously? Sometimes I'll be like, Mo, Matt, Maddie, please, can you stop? <laughs> can you stop? <laughs> I still won't forget what you told me when you said you went to uh, what's that place again? I just be looking at them, <laughs> <laughs> like just like Beyonce be looking at the people. <laughs> mo, mo, mo. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I seen them saying Julius, Ju-. well, Beyonce came back and screaming Julius, Ju-. and Beyonce was like, what wait, is? Come out, wait. Beyonce came out and they were yelling Julius, 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 Julius. And Beyonce was like, what is going on here? <laughs> What is going on? I do the same shit. 
He was like, Mo, Mo. I'm like, what? <laughs> I had to hear it in my ear, in my ear to the sun. What? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, they say, hold on, somebody say that was funny and we never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, for real? She came out on the tour and they started screaming, Julius! Hey, they never saw him Before again? Before she even started singing, he, he came out, she came out, and Julius was, came out, was standing over there and they were screaming, Julius, Julius! And she was like, she had the microphone, she was like, what is going on? Oh, I, oh. Mo, it's videos and Pit is okay, I'm gonna go look at it. It's videos all over line with Julius someone trying to protect her. They scream at Julius. And she is gagging, like, girl, really? Really? This is not about Julius. Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all. They I say, appreciate that. They Thank say you. he behind us the stage now. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you Beyonce was over it. She said, don't come out. She, she came out. They was like, Julius, Julius, Julius. And she was like, what is going on? It was just the same way. When it, it's the same motherfucking way. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Don't fuck with your life. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So she said, nah, you stay backstage from now on. It's the same way. They said that Julius is about to get fired. The same exact way. But don't worry, when you start taking G on the road and then they start meeting him in person. <laughs> you're gonna get the same, you're gonna get the same thing, Maddie. I know. I know, I see it. I see it. You did what the children say. I see, Miss Mary. What do I need to do? Mama, just nothing. Okay. Oh, Lord, don't do that. (laughs) Yeah. Anyway. So... Maddie, did you hear Sister Tyson died? Sister Tyson been died. Right? Sister Tyson been died, child. What did she ever say? Yeah. Right. Uh, Bar- Barker passed away. Oh, Bar Barker. Okay. Oh, damn. You so dumb. <laughs> Bar Barker. <laughs> you a mess. You a mess. You see, you you influence people, man. You make people messy. You make people messy. <laughs> I was never like this. I know we were all never like this. <laughs> yes. yes, we are. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so let's go to the next thing. All right, let's go. Oh, next next we have uh, let's we were talking about uh some some racist stuff. So let's let's talk about this. Floyd, uh, Floyd Harrison, leader of Black Voices for Trump, now in police custody after he was the only defendant in the twenty twenty election fraud. Okay, Rico. so y'all need to explain me this. I don't explain okay. explain this to me. Put it back, Mo. Oh, okay. And just explain. Like, this is something I know. Who was this? Floyd Harrison, leader of Black Voices for Trump, yep. now in police custody after he was the only defendant in the 2020 election fraud RICO to receive no bond. So, wait. Trump got bonded out. Yeah. Trump got bonded out. Yeah. he Trump didn't even stay. Trump didn't even. Stay, he just got booked and he was out. Trump, they booked Trump and then he was already out. Him, he's still in custody. 
He's still in custody. So the man that y'all y'all support him, he ain't even he put his bail money aside, but you still uh you still in police custody trying to make it out. So we didn't get Trump's mugshot either. Oh, I could quickly get that. That's not an issue. Cause we can uh oh, they said he attacked the FBI agent. So he attacked the FBI agent. That's what uh, Denisa, I hope I said your name right. Denisa said. I think everyone has been bunted out. He was the only one that didn't have a pre bond arrangement. They put cook, 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 you put, I'm sick of these pick me's. Um, they say he attacked the FBI agent. And if you do that, then yeah, you, you're you not getting bonded out. I don't believe you're getting bonded out if you do that. Uh, he Haven't we all attacked an FBI agent before? <laughs> Wait a minute. What's your day? Right. Uh, uh, Glizzy God, you are, I think you are this by yourself. You are your own with this one. Uh, let me see. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Black man. He was ninety nine years old. Wow. He also associated with who? Hold on. Let me see. He didn't have enough with January sixth. Oh. He didn't have enough. He didn't have enough money for a lawyer, lawyer to, to negotiate. negotiate his bail bond. Is why he's still in jail. Why did Trump give him a, a lawyer? So they put when you forget you a nigga. <laughs> uh he attacked the FBI agent. They got Donald Trump. They got Donald Trump is trans means everywhere. What? They said they got Donald Trump is trans means Oh, no, no slay. Okay. Uh so what I want to say that I think that is very um scary is I personally think that we are going to be Donald Trump or if we're not Donald Trump, we're most definitely going to be DeSantis. Ron DeSantis. And I, and, and I, and I, and I'm, I'm, I don't want to pre predict that, but usually when I'm, when we talking about the way the political climate is and shit right now, like this man has done all types of shit. Like all types of shit. This man has got Rico, well, Rico charges and put against him now. And this person is still going to be on the campaign train for the president of the United States. States. Yep. And, and I'm sorry that there's lots of things out there that people have not liked about the Biden administration. And because the Biden administration is not well received in its space we are definitely at risk of a win for a Trump or a DeSantis they say DeSantis uh Buddy K also said DeSantis has no chance of winning man hold on let's see why anybody DeSantis has no chance of winning man his own side doesn't even have much enthusiasm for him we thought the same thing about George. <laughs> we did. We were like, he ain't going to win no election. We thought the same thing about Donald Trump. And hey, look, that man was in office for four years. Well, ugh, Nigeria, here I come. Oh, now you African. <laughs> That's why you got that dual pay. That's why you got those dual. <laughs> that dual citizenship? Uh-huh. Yeah, so I can go back and forth with me. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let me go over there and get mine. <laughs> Let me get to the Jim Shea family. <laughs> Let me get out there and get to the Jim Shea family. We'll, we'll, I'll, we'll, I'll, I'll talk to him so you can get in. So, you know. I don't need to talk to him. My what last name's Jim Shea. <laughs> 
My last name is Jim Ache. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, somebody's saying Trump Wait, hold is on, polling well above everyone at over 50%. Oh. Are you serious? Oh, wow. And DeSantis is second? So it's going to be between those two. Then. They probably going to have Trump as the president and DeSantis as the vice president. You'll get your turn next time. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> yep. And we have so many blacks, black people that are out there saying, yeah, we want Trump back because you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, no, it wasn't no killing during the Trump administration. It wasn't no this during the Trump administration. It wasn't no that. It was the Trump administration was this and that. And the Trump, Trump, Trump. And Trump was this and Trump was that. And Trump was blah, blah, blah. You know. And so. And so. You see, so y'all saying God still in control. God was in control in 2016. When, when the Trump win? Uh, yeah, but I think, was it 2016? God was in control then. Yeah. So we still got Trump. <laughs> <laughs> we still got Trump. Uh, <laughs> so it said, see, Maddie, ever since pay for your say, Mo just don't know how to act. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you may have to lock him up like you did like Messi. <laughs> First of oh. all, let me tell you why I really, I, why I honestly really don't want Trump in the office, right? I honestly don't want Trump in the office because there has been new information that has been released that the aliens is here. Uh. You give this nigga the chance to press the button <laughs> <laughs> between other countries. <laughs> Imagine pressing the button between other planets. <laughs> Interstellar shit. Oh. oh. Yeah. Now, how the fuck we supposed to do that? How we gonna do that there? How you do that there? <laughs> they said Trump is, they said aliens is Trump. The no aliens. aliens is not Trump. <laughs> what do you mean? First of all, this nigga took doc took government files home <laughs> to his house. <laughs> this nigga took government files home to his house. Yeah. <clears throat> You said, do you remember the Simpsons? Do the Simpsons predict something about? Because they, they predicted they that he won. Do. They usually do. Predict. They predicted that he yeah. won. Let's is, do this. Is the is the Simpsons got any predictions? They they got a lot of predictions, right? To any predictions that he re? They do it every time. They get the predictions right. That's what they about the Simpsons. They usually get their predictions right. I'm you not said even lie. you said so. I highly doubt that they would get the nomination. Hold on, what is this? Let me see. You saying that they you highly doubt that they would get the nominations, that they would get that. They said, uh, they said uh Miss Misunderstood said they predicted that he won again. It died. <clears throat> they said they predicted that he won again. They did. Yeah. <sighs> But they said they also predicted his uh his demise. Can we look? Can we look it up on we the can, Simpson? We can YouTube. I think you can. Yeah, can we look at Simpson's Trump predictions? <laughs> I trust the Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> One of them niggas done time travel. Oh, for real? The, the, the submersible? Oh, wow. Oh, 
Okay, Mo, let's see what they what they let's see what they do, what they done predict there. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to look for the uh the latest the latest You say one. would you rather Trump or dissent? Neither. Neither. Okay, so they have the top they have top ten Donald Trump predictions by Simpson. You wanna look at that? Okay, so okay, here it is. Simpson's prediction for 2024 is insane. Okay, let's do it. Development of hologram technology. The show has consistently gotten it right, but what about 2024? What does the future hold for us? In this video, we take a look at some of the most shocking and mind-blowing predictions that The Simpsons have made about 2024. We'll explore the possibility of a second Donald Trump presidency, the rise of artificial intelligence, and even the end of the world. Are these predictions just coincidences, or is there something more to it? Join us as we investigate the future that The Simpsons have predicted for 2024 and see if it's one that we want to live in. Trump's 2024 presidential run. As we all know, Donald Trump recently announced that he's running for president again for 2024. Well, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. But back in 2015, Simpsons actually predicted his 2024 presidency in an episode. That episode also predicted his presidency for 2028. So who knows? Maybe we can talk about this again. While Donald Trump announced that he will be running for the 2024 presidential elections last year, it was already predicted on The Simpsons. The Simpsons producer Al Jean took to Twitter to share an image of a 2015 episode of the series, which features Homer Simpson flying as a Trump 2024 inches campaign sign stands in the background. The show had previously also predicted Kamala Harris's run for the vice president. Marge isn't exactly thrilled when Lisa raises her hand to volunteer for a one way ticket to Mars. So what does Marge do? She goes and volunteers herself along with the rest of the wacky family. They all hop on board the Exploration Incorporated's Mars colonization mission, which was originally set for 2026, but somehow gets moved up to, like, the end of the freaking week. Talk about a rush job! Of course, their takeoff goes haywire, but Lisa and Marge manage to make it to Mars in 2051. And guess what? Lisa decides she wants to ditch Mars and head over to Venus instead. Like, seriously? Can't make up her mind that one. Elon Musk and his SpaceX are supposedly working on cargo flights to Mars as early as 2022. But okay, so th that was going into other stuff. But they did say that he's they predicted Donald Trump winning the 2024 election, though. And according to what everybody's saying, he's ahead on the polls. So they they may be right. <laughs> Dang. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I, I've noticed that Elon Musk has changed the Twitter to uh X. You, you you say you wanted to play the Elon Musk stuff? Yes. All righty. the planet would require a budget that's out of this world pun intended as of now it hasn't happened yet but they're already hunting for brave souls who'd be willing to call mars their home sweet home but they've so, been yeah, doing it buckle up folks yeah. this could very well be our future somewhere between the 2020s and 2050 elon musk and his mars dreams are no joke we might see someone blast off to the red planet anytime between 2019 and 2025 brace yourselves Musk has had his sights set on Mars for quite some time now. Back in 2016, he boldly declared his ambition to construct a rocket that could transport people to the Red Planet and establish a full-fledged city there. During an interview with the Y Combinator, a startup accelerator, he suggested that achieving a meaningful number of people on Mars could take about 10 years, or maybe even sooner, like 9 years. So, while we might not see tickets going on sale anytime soon, the gears are definitely turning behind the scenes. In the famous episode, Bart to the Future, which, by the way, accurately predicted Trump's presidency, they showcased a future where holograms deliver the mail. Bart, the ultimate slacker, received a hologram message offering his band a gig at a club. 
Now hold on a sec before you dismiss it as pure fantasy. Hologram technology has come a long way. They've brought back deceased artists like Tupac Shakur for jaw-dropping concerts. Believe it or not, HD3 holograms, those three-sided holographic display cases, are already up and running in stores with more than 500 Best Buy locations sporting them. So, is hologram mail really that far off? Soon, you might be able to send holograms of yourself through your phone. Forget about plain old real-time videos. We're talking about seeing a 3D virtual person, just like a hologram. European mobile operators like Deutsche Telekom, Orange, Telefonica, and Vodafone have teamed up with Matsuko, a deep tech company leading the charge in 3D calls. Matsuko, originally focused on creating Star Wars-like holograms, has developed technology to make more realistic holograms. In a recent announcement, the telecom companies revealed their participation in a pilot program to test these holographic calls, aiming for broadcast quality. The cool part is that the sender doesn't need any fancy mixed reality MR, virtual reality, VR, or augmented reality, AR hardware, but viewers of the holograms may require it. Nevertheless, it can still be seen using just a smartphone. So get ready for a holographic future where you can be there in 3D, even when you're physically miles away. All right, get ready for another mind-blowing prediction from The Simpsons involving technology and robots. Brace yourself, because this one is even more sinister than their usual mass automation forecast. Back in 94, in an episode called Itchy and Scratchy Land, classic, the family takes a trip to a theme park that's basically a twisted version of Disneyland. And guess what? The place is swarming with these supposedly harmless, itchy and scratchy robots. But hold on to your hats, folks, because these metal maniacs go absolutely bonkers and start slaughtering everyone in sight. Talk about a vacation gone wrong. It's all about the dreaded singularity of artificial intelligence. That's when AI grows exponentially, surpassing human intelligence and potentially turning against us. We've seen some pretty impressive advancements in technology, like those fancy machine learning algorithms that can solve all sorts of problems. So it seems the singularity is inching closer, or so the experts say. We've got big players like Google and IBM, along with a swarm of ambitious startups, all working their brains off to push the boundaries of AI and robotics. Now, if you want to know who's leading the charge in the singularity is just around the corner camp, look no further than Ray Kurzweil, the director of engineering at Google and a true visionary. This guy knows his stuff, and he's pretty darn sure we'll be witnessing the singularity spectacle before 2045. All right. Oh. In the episode. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God is in control. Yes, he is. But yeah, somebody said, "Do y'all notice that everything is self checkout?" Yep. I don't. I, I don't do. I don't like the self checkout. You don't even have to go to the store. Nope. You don't have to go to the bank. Nope. You don't have to do a motherfucking thing. I mean, look what's happening to uh, actors now. Correct. This is why that strike is going on. Yep. They're telling people that they want them to sign off on their uh their, their their rights to their image. Like, really? Yep, look, look. They put can they predict Mo going to Africa? <laughs> I can predict that right now. Right. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> and I can do pay for you saying Africa too. Oh, oh hell here. yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. All I need is my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, you would leave me like that? No, I wouldn't leave you. I know. Nah, you nah. wouldn't come back and get me. Huh? Put my hands in the air. Mo, come get me. <laughs> Take me on the airplane. <laughs> I'll be looking. Y'all remember when uh 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 American Horror Story Apocalypse came and Billy Agnew was out there and, and uh and the lady was in the hell. He said, You be to the plate. I'll be like, Mo, you bitch! <laughs> I'll be back! No, nah, nigga. <laughs> boy, I'm telling you, boy, it's it's just a lot. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next thing. Okay. Next, we have uh, we have a sad case. Wife found out her husband was cheating on her with the man, and he took her life and didn't want 
He took her life. He didn't want her to expose him. Um, this is a dough down, dirty, despicable nigga. This is why I tell y'all on every corner. Don't drag nobody into no situation that you don't want them motherfucking people to be involved in. Give people the opportunity to say, I, I'm interested or I'm not. I'm not interested. Yes. Yes. Give the people the opportunity to say, I'm interested in doing this. I'm not interested in doing this. And why would you kill her? You end up getting exposed any motherfucking way. Exactly. With all of this shit that done happened and done, and done been said and done, you exposing yourself any motherfucking way. It's already done. You're already doing it. It's already done. And she might not even have told nobody. She might have just said, you know what? Let me just let's just get this divorce and go to our separate ways. But you didn't even give her a chance. Ladies, if you find out that your nigga is fucking another man, ain't no reason to go to the that does not make you less of a woman. It doesn't make you less of a woman because your nigga is, is has alternative lifestyle choices. Oh, she outed it on Facebook. Someone said she outed it on Facebook. Oh, she put it on Facebook? Yeah. There's a lot of niggas into the things. This is a real terrible. This is real terrible. Yeah. They said she, hold on. They said she wanted to leave, but what? Uh, she wanted to leave, but he didn't want her to, so he took her life. Put Angel's Nicole's thing up there. Okay. Same reason DLs used to murder us trans women and claim deception after. Again, transphobia and homophobia affects all women. Y'all never want to hear me when I be talking about this stuff. Again, transphobia and homophobia affects all I said this, transphobia and homophobia affects all women. Here we go, a whole two weeks after this just shit. Two weeks later, here we go, two weeks. It's been about two weeks, right, Mo? It's been two weeks? After this, feel yeah, two weeks, two, two and a half, we maybe three weeks almost. It feels like it's been going for a while. When I said that homophobia... <laughs> So I said transphobia affects all women. However, homophobia and transphobia affects all women. I don't, nobody don't want to listen to me. They think I just be talking. Homophobia and misogyny visited them. He killed this woman to conceal a secret to conceal a secret that he could have communicated with this woman way before he even married her. Cause it's not like that they just got into this shit and like he just not like now they done got married. Now he all of a sudden doing this is stuff that niggas be doing before they even before they even lock in with you. This shit niggas be doing before they even lock in with you, before they lock down, clink, clink, you know, lock in with you. They be be doing this. So woo. 
I, I I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure I'm trying to make sure I say this shit with with the greatest and deepest empathy and sympathy for the situation. But I also want to point back to my conversations when I say we all of us play a part in the whole down low situation. First of all, the down low man is his biggest down, his downfall. Second, the community is is also a part of the down, the down low. And the gays and the trans is the biggest part of it because we we tend to look, I'm finna out. Nobody can, nobody, nobody could stand in the in the in the gap or in the paint or in the in the line of being outed. Nobody don't know how to, to deal with that. Because it falls back to the community of who's gonna accept, who's going to engage, how they're gonna lose their job, if they're gonna lose their this and the other. So you say, did you see the video your truth be told posted where the trans woman was messing with this man? And then him and his baby mama went to fight her. It affects all. All my life, I had to fight it to keep it on the DL. Ooh. Everyone claims uh, it's a lie. Hold on. There you go. Everyone needs to be truthful about who they are and their sexual preferences. Or otherwise, they will always be mentally imprisoned. And that is, that is correct. Yeah, that is most definitely correct. That is correct. So the big the person to blame here is this man. This man is to blame in all of this situation. And now, is he dead too? No, I, I, I believe he's in custody. Is this a is this he's a, is he locked up? Is this a murder suicide? What is this? No, I don't think it's because I think they would have mentioned it, it being a, a yeah, he's locked up. Oh no. He locked up. So he's not dead, but she's dead. Yeah. Where what city was this in? Uh hold on, hold on. Let me I'm gonna have to find that particular case. I'm gonna have to find that particular case. Where the children they go? I know Jameson gone. Okay. A woman is murdered by her DL husband. What city is this? Let me see. Oh, uh, Traverse, Traverse City, Michigan. Michigan. Traverse City, Michigan. Let's see. Let me see. Let's 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 see. Say in Detroit, Detroit. I'm getting a lot of tea. A white man started shooting at Edward Waters University, then took off from where, and has shot many black people, and now has barricaded himself in a Dollar General with hostages. It's oh, a mass shit. shooting going on right now. Where? Where is it at? Where is it at? And he has barricaded himself in the Dollar Tree. Oh, in Jacksonville. Damn. Oh, my God. Damn. And that's going on right now? This is carrying on right now? Okay, well, send me some footage if you got it. I'm 
Um. Yeah. So it said, "Yep, it's going on right now." Oh God. Is it is happening right now? Oh, as you said, they're talking about it on the news. I'm trying to, somebody's trying to send me some footage. Somebody's trying to send me some footage of it. Gee, look at your phone. Uh... The world has been like this. Um, hold on. Why they keep putting limited video? What did we do? Girl, that's why I be putting this stuff on here. Like, uh, um, I'm waiting to get some footage from, from the folks. And if it's not bad, then I'll be able to run it through the show. Yeah, y'all can send it to me if y'all have the footage or whatnot. Yeah. So this is my thing with men. Um, men, if you are into the girls and stuff like that, if you like both sides or, or all sides of the spectrum, that's all right. I want you to understand that that's okay that you like all sides of the spectrum. However, I do think that it is important. It is important before you get into a deep, long long-standing relationship. Now, if y'all fucking around, you don't know if it's serious or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and this just these are this is just my opinion. If y'all fucking around, you don't know it's that serious or whatever, and it's somebody that's just to jump off or whatever, I don't feel like that you need to be over there to myself. Well, I like trans, I like trans and, and I like I, I if you if you put out to the space that I like women, I'm sorry, ladies. If they don't be specific and saying that they don't like X, Y, Z, trans women can be included in that shit. So if a man say he like women, he like women. Like, and this is this is bad to say, but this is because it's gonna sound bad to y'all ears, but it's just the truth. If a man tells you that he likes women and he sees trans as just trans women as he sees women in the same space that's what he like now if he gives it to a long standing relationship with you and you ask him or, or, or he or or as a dude you start dealing with, with women and you get into this long standing relationship with women don't be out here flopping without letting them know Don't be out here flopping without letting them know. Don't flop without letting the girls know, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 and that goes for the girls too. That goes for the girls too. Like, don't be over here, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, flopping. That, that tell us too. Like, okay, well, you know, I got a girl, or I'm they, I'm talking to a girl, or I'm fucking around with a chick or a broad or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, whoop de whoop. So that the motherfucking hoe know that they don't need to be trying to get they self invested. Niggas gonna cheat whatever the fuck they gonna do. This, this is gonna happen. Niggas gonna cheat. But when you get into these spaces where you have these long standing relationships with the girls, I feel like the dudes need to be like, hey, I like I like women on all, all spectrum of women. I like all spectrum of women. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So that if a motherfucker say, oh, I saw you with the shreddy. Okay, well, that's the woman to me. That you don't necessarily have to put yourself in no position where you have to do no stupid ass dumb shit like that. This is just my opinion, Mo. 
I think there are so many people that have gotten involved with being, but then you then you ask your you ask yourself, how can you, how can you, what is the proper way? What is the proper way to tell the children? What is the proper way to say? Um, is I'm playing devil's advocate here because it's it's real it's really playing in my thoughts. What is the proper way to tell your partner that? Your fluid in your sexuality, because I don't think a man that messes around with a transsexual or a trans woman is gay. I don't think that that at all. Period. I think that a man that deals with a trans woman and a bio woman, I think that he's he, his identity is going to always be straight. But but for me, I think that he's fluid in his sexual in his sexuality. He's fluid or bi. That's my those are my thoughts. You know. So how do you? How do we put a system together? Not a we. How do people put a system together to tell a, a partner that a, a partner that they want to have a long-standing relationship with their partner? How do you go to your partner and say, "Hey, you know, I'm," or when you meet when you meet a guy and y'all are talking, how does he? How does how is it? How does it? How do you make it comfortable for him to say? Hey, I, I like a variety of, of women. You say, say I'm fluid. Uh, what you say, Jerome? Put your, what Jerome said up there for me, please. Because Jerome, I like the way Jerome talks about stuff. Um, it should be easy to say, I want to be honest and upfront. I date all types of women, including trans women. He can say it just like that. I like a variety of women. All right. Now, let's say a man says, I like a variety. I like, I think that all women are beautiful. I like a variety of women. Does this mean that now that, that he's told you this and the dating doesn't work out with y'all, that you take his, his photograph or you take his communication with you and you start posting and saying, this nigga likes trannies? To be honest, I think you should, how Jerome said it, I think that's how it should be said. Because if you just say you like a variety of women, how many how many people are going to automatically say how many how many people are automatically going to think you're talking about trans women? They might think you're talking about big women, little women, uh, well, black women, well, white women. Here's so, the thing: it is also because yes, it's, I can't dance around it. It is also because majority of of bio women don't accept us as being under the umbrella. It's your man. They don't accept that. Now, I mean, this is going to sound harsh, but this is the truth. Men that fucks with women, that like variety of women, don't have the same eyes as you got. <laughs> they see it, all the girls as women. Like, that's the woman. They see all girls as, as women. You know, just like, you know, they see fat. They, they see fat girls, skinny girls, wide girls, thin girls. You know, they see it. That's what they see it as. And so, my thing is, if you say it like Jerome says it, that I like of, of all varieties of women, including trans women, do you do you then start to shame him? Do you then start to, and this goes for men and women, like because men can talk this way with they with they with they with homeboys or they friends and shit too. You know, I personally don't think that anybody is owed an explanation to anything that you are like or attracted to because unless those are in a relationship. The, unless y'all in a relationship. Because yeah. those are your attractions and that's what you like. I don't think that nobody is, you know, is Imagine you come to the door and you meet a guy and y'all go out on a date. He take you to dinner. Y'all go out on a date. Y'all courting each other. Y'all been courting each other for a while, going to the movies, kicking it. Is he supposed to say in the first week that y'all are dating, I like 
all varieties of women, including trans women, or I have dated all types of women, including trans women. Is he supposed to do that? I would this say, is just my question. I'm would, just asking a question. To be honest, I, I would I would say I would I would I should I would believe that you should because if you, in the first week, if you guys are dating, if you guys are dating and me staying dating, I'm not talking about y'all just smashing every frequently or whatever. I'm talking about like y'all are trying to become something serious. I think people should know everything that they need to know about you up front. In the first week. Yeah, yeah. The, have you ever dated somebody and you asked them about their past relationships? Well, I'm, uh, you, you, you usually ask we that. Talk, you, I mean, jokingly, we may talk about it. But you usually but ask that in no, the beginning. If, if I feel like if things is going to get solid, like if it's going to get solid, solid, uh -huh. we need to get real deep in conversation. But And that's what I mean. So if but you guys... I, I, but Mo, if we're dating... Okay, so, so dating and a relationship, not the same thing. Okay, because the reason I say this, though, Maddie, is because this... Think about it. If you guys are dating, you guys are that means you guys are spending some time together. The more you spend time together with somebody, the more you start to develop feelings or attraction to that person. And if you and let's just say you got you you never bring it up, but then a couple of weeks go by, you guys have invested so much emotion and feelings into each other, and then you want to tell the person that that you want to tell the person those things, it's, they're going to be like, damn. It's not something that I'm I'm used to, but I I like the person, and now I'm stuck in this conundrum where I have to figure out: do I do I still want to be with this person that told me this, or do I have to let it go instead of saying it at the beginning to let them have that decision to say, you know what, fuck it, let's go. That's the only reason I say that. All right, Mo, well, I meet men all the time, right? Yep, all the time. I'll communicate nice, some nice. We may go to dinner, we may go to this and the other, whatever. I don't know his body count yet because I'm not really, I need to know if we're going to vibe before I start asking about your body count. Or we may be jokingly talking about a body count. Uh huh. You know, when we start talking about the body count after a couple of times, I like who you know. It gets into that. Like after, when, when I know that it, I'm streamlining it down to, you know, because it's some niggas that I won't talk to if they don't fuck with certain girls that I that I know. I'm not fucking with you. And would you like to know that at the beginning? Well, when we when I we, if we talking, I need to know like because if you tell me that in the beginning, I'm not even gonna really talk to you probably in the beginning. <laughs> right? Maybe if you just <laughs> smooth me over a little bit, and I'd be like, maybe it's okay if y'all are y'all fucking around now. You know what I'm saying? Because uh -huh. I can't do anything about what has happened in the past. I can't go and change. If you done stuck your dick somewhere, I can't do nothing about that. If they done fucked and sucked on you in the past, I don't know. I, that, I, this is before I even came in the in the atmosphere. Right. Now, are you still communicating with them? Because if you hit me with that up front, the date is over. But I think it would be good for them to hit you with it up front because the date over. But they, you want me to tell you why it's good? Because at least you haven't invested. All your emotion, because think about it. If somebody was if somebody was messing with somebody that you didn't like, mm -hmm. and they waited to tell you after you invested all your emotions into them, how would you feel? I'm gonna want to know: Are y'all messing around with each other now? Have you, when the last time y'all been messing around? How long was this going on? What happened? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I need to know. Like, I, but in up front, if you tell me this shit up front, it ain't no, it ain't gonna be no chance. But if you tell me this, like when we talking. And we in a space, I'm like, okay, well, you know, let me see, do I want to further pursue this? You know, cause we're dating. I ain't finna come. Bitch, I'm not coming. In. I may not fuck the nigga you know. I'm not telling you that. So you can run your messy ass over there and tell that nigga, yeah, bitch, I had that bitch out on the date and he was da 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 da. <laughs> if we chopping it up, Somebody said, if you deeply invested in somebody within a week, get therapy. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody should be invested in somebody in a week. But in a I'm week, saying over time. I'm saying over time, you've invested all of this into somebody. What you then, think, G? When? Later or? You see, that, that's how I feel. You got to give them a choice. You, ha you have to. 
It's hard to make a decision. No, it's, it's not hard, hard to make a decision. It, well, it is hard. It's, it's harder. Hard. No, it's harder to make a decision. It's harder. But in, in the beginning, I might make a uh, I might make a, a choice in the beginning that might the fuck they might fuck up something that could be potential. Because I who I can't go unfuck somebody. No. I can't go unfuck them. I said you should. I said you should be up front with them. I can't go unfuck early. them though. You no, can't no, you go can't. unfuck them. You can't yeah. do it. And I'm not concerned if you fuck them or not in the beginning, because I'm not. Ta- I'm not sitting down talking to you because this sounds crazy. Okay, so you do you know such and such? Is you a such and such such and such such and such? Maddie, there's certain ways you could bring up the conversation though, Maddie. Like perfect no, well, I'm blunt like that. Oh, I know you are. I'm blunt. I like know that. you are. Do you know this bitch right here? <laughs> I know you are. Do you know any of this bitch friends right here? I got her picture right in my phone. Do you know a circle of these bitches? <laughs> First of all, bitch, I'm going to be on your page, and I'm going to see who uh, that's what's going to make me make my determination. Yeah, already. I already know. Maddie is CIA. I'm going to be on your page. Maddie is CIA. You got social media? What's your, what's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? What's your Twitter? What's your, what's your, what's your backup thing? What's your email? What your email is? Any and, and there's any man that I have ever chopped it up with, you can attest. And if you don't know, now you do. I've already been down your following list. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been down your list of who you're following on Instagram. Because oh. 99.999% of the time, them, who them niggas is following is who they inboxing back and forth. <laughs> they got some type of inbox conversation. Correct, but in but that, that makes me like okay. Well, I'm going to eat. Shit, I'm going to get me. This, I'm finna go get this motherfucker two for twenty. But but don't but don't. I'm going to get this two for twenty. But let's be real though. I'm and going it. to get this two for twenty, and I'm motherfucker finna get this ass blow blowed out, and I'm gonna go by my fucking business. <laughs> And I'm finna go by my motherfucking business after I eat this two for twenty and suck this dick, get my dick sucked. I'm out of here. Okay, I but, ain't taking this shit serious. Okay, how about? But look, how about that? That's another perfect example, Maddie. You go out on a date with somebody, and then and then you tell the person right up front. You don't wait. You don't wait until weeks have passed. You tell them right up front. I'm not looking for nothing Nigga, serious. I t- I'm just Listen, looking for something for a good your, time. Man, if I go on your motherfucking Instagram and you and you trying to fuck me and I see you following a slew of bitches that I don't really fuck with or I know them hoes motherfuckers got them, I don't buy hoes body counts and I know what them hoes do and shit like that and I see this type of shit I know what them hoes are, I'm going to get my dicks up, I'm going to get my pussy fucked, I'm going to drink up your liquor, eat your food, or I'm going to do this two for 20. Or uh, whatever the fuck we at, I don't, we don't win it. And then I'm going to let you know that this is what it is. We jumping off. Shit, we finna jump off. We finna jump off. Because if I know Becky or Eda, and I know she eat everybody that speak to her, I know you not you not got eight, cause the bitch tried to eat me. <laughs> I'm here for a good time. That's right. Right. Let them know what. But you're sitting over here. No, I'm gonna do this when I see your Instagram. My mind gonna already click. So you won't tell them. Hey, I'm not. I ain't gonna tell you that. Why? No. Why? No. So that if he keeps see, so that if he keeps stuff from you, then that's okay too. Then, no, right? I'm not for bitch. Why you? I know what your what by your by your following count. But you assume it though. I'm not assuming. You assume. If I see that one bitch on there, <laughs> you assume it's one bitch that's on you every assume. nigga you, profile. You don't got, but you, you don't have you don't have proof. You, remember, you don't have man, proof. Fuck that. You don't have proof. You remember man. when you used to sign up for fucking uh, <laughs> for MySpace and Tom was on there? <laughs> it's a bitch that's a Tom right now. That's on every nigga profile. <laughs> <laughs> but Maddie, you can't assume. You can't assume, Maddie. You can't assume. You you need proof. It's a bitch out there that's a tone right now. That's on everybody's profile. We all know what that bitch do. <laughs> Maddie, have you heard of 
prove innocent until proven no, guilty. I'm watching your following now too. <laughs> you, can, you can watch my oh, following. I, I see that one bitch with that one both fucking. <laughs> you can see my following. I, yeah, I can, I, you listen, can watch my following. I, listen, but we not fucking and we friends. No, no, but I'm saying but my whole I'm saying thing period. Is, I'm saying but period. my thing is I'ma know when you're fucking. <laughs> oh yeah, he done got turned out with this bitch right here. It's six of the six of the same bitches over here. Now you <laughs> nah. <laughs> you say I'm going to the friends and that's right, ship ship. You better. That friend list gonna tell you everything. And then some of them niggas are so sneaky, they won't even follow you, but they be inboxing back and forth. This is why I tell y'all hoes it's important to get in them niggas' phone. So, but can we say the same? How about is it the same wet thing for women too? Though? Oh, I'm gonna give you my phone. No, no, I'm just saying if we go through your followers. Is does it if we go through your followers and we see certain dudes on your followers, do y'all can we be, assume y'all niggas don't be invested like we don't be invested like that? That's the point. Y'all niggas don't be invested when we don't be invested, so it don't work. It don't just it's double step. It don't work. <laughs> niggas ain't as niggas not as invested as you bitches right. did. You right. You 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 are you because it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off and go back to for that bitch that's following you go get your dick up. <laughs> so you know. You said, Maddie, would you date someone that has been with your relatives or friends? Let's talk about that. I can't. I can't. We talk. I talked about this with my with my uh, cousin on our thing. I was like, Mo, no, never. Listen to me. I can't. Maybe your your relative or your friend is that Tom that's on the page. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, Maddie. I cannot have relations with somebody that my friends or my my family members have already had relations. So, my we friend, and let's say I was in the is in the women, and uh -huh. me and I don't fuck the woman, and me and you tight as we is. You wanna go fuck her? Nope. You crazy nigga. I got titties. I, I don't count. <laughs> <laughs> I don't count. You know nigga. what? You know what? You right about that. If it was a if it was a dude, right? If it was a dude, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. That's true. Now nah, I'm a bitch. That's I don't true. count. That's true. Now, now that motherfucker may come back and tell you that you your dick ain't here like TS dick here. Did, 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 would you that, feel some kind of that problem? We, we have that you, problem. Listen, because I, I listen. Every you time, would no, I'm with it. Because would. every time I go to work, I go to work. <laughs> what made the fuck you think I don't work overtime, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> you don't got this. <laughs> this special. <laughs> I, I don't need titties. You I don't, don't need titties, but I got them though, <laughs> and this special, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, this special. <laughs> Motherfucker won't be tell you I ain't never been hit by a bitch. Like, the fuck? That big titty bitch fuck the you shit That big, big titty bitch, bitch, you ain't got nothing on this motherfucking hoe right here. That bitch abomination that I get entangled with all the time. Abominate me, bitch. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh. So... My thing is, if you're, if it's a relative, okay, are y'all first cousins? Are y'all distant cousins? You know, like, if we good, if we close, I'm not doing it. If we close, I'm not doing it. All right, I felt the same way about that. Like my, like with Miss Evans being my closest friend, she was like, we would, we would always pass pictures of boys. Like you talk to him, you know him, you just the other whatever. Now there was one guy, or maybe two, Miss. Miss <laughs> Maybe maybe two or okay three. Miss Eve was a Gemini. I just gotta put this out here. Miss Eve was a Gemini. Miss Eve was a Gemini, and Miss Eve was definitely one of those Toms that be on. <laughs> Miss Eve gonna get her business in. I love my motherfucking dog, but my dog was a Gemini. Gemini's be fucking, and they don't say a motherfucking thing. They be fucking. Oh, they just be silent. They be fucking, <laughs> and they got bodies, 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 and be, and be right there shaking the bitch hand like, "Hey, how you doing, <laughs> bitch? Fuck it." That's definitely the truth. Because I watched my... Oh, wait, he a Gemini? And David is a Gemini, too. <laughs> and the shit that I see with David, I said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everybody in here, David. <laughs> Every, everybody in here. Okay. Some of that they can't help because they be just fucking. You know. So, uh, so, <laughs> so <laughs> niggas be fucking. And Miss Eve done had her share of friends. <laughs> they said, "Don't do Gemini's, man." <laughs> well, I love them, <laughs> bitch. Somebody put, "Yeah, David fucks down." I know. <laughs> I done been in the room like everybody in here, baby. <laughs> Even this one, <laughs> David. Everybody in here. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> they say you were ATL, so I'm sure you fucked a lot of the same people. But damn, in this room, <laughs> <laughs> we just got him. <laughs> this nigga don't even live in this city. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in here? Okay, well, shit. <laughs> so, oh. Miss Eve knew a couple of the dudes. We done changed. She said, oh, bird, that's my friend. I'm like, oh, shit. You're new. Here come another one. Oh, that's my friend. Like, damn, I can't talk to nobody. <laughs> then I had to say, listen, sister. Nah, this, nah, how, how deep were things with you and that person? You know, you're just all right. We da, 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 da. And I say, okay. So, wait a minute. Who's saying, excuse me? <laughs> Is that you, David? <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> so, you know, so she, it was very much so like, I was like, oh, listen, murder girl. Now, nah, listen, now, nah, girl, I can't go down the street now <laughs> and not know no fucking body. You say Miss Eve was stealth. She was very stealth, but she was definitely busy. And yeah, Miss Eve, Miss Eve, Miss Eve, Miss Eve handled her business, okay? Oh, wow. And so, yes, Gemini's are hoes, correct. I, it's, I'm sorry, G. It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend, I will be a I will be the best friends with the gym. My best love them, them be my dogs. Like all my closest friends have been Gemini. Gemini's. All of them. My close, I love, love, love. But who say we faithful? <laughs> As when it comes down to dating, <laughs> I'm not even finna get involved in that. That headache. Now, will we fuck? Yes, if things got to a place where it was romantically good and it got to a place where even in my mind I'm contemplating on dating, uh-huh. I have to tell myself, nah. <laughs> Correct. Nah, you got to get in that phone because that phone going to tell the story. I'm not even, I'm not even working. D- Gemini's, Scorpios, bitch, please. I was about to ask you about Scorpios. Bitch, please. <laughs> bitch, please. Because I heard stories about Scorpio. Those Scorpios going to fuck everything. That's, if it's on the wall, it's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> Scorpio men, they fucking everything on that side of the fence over there. <laughs> <laughs> what would make it hoes is if you, you know, now if you, t- if you explain to your partner that you're a sexual creature, then that's not a hoe. I'm a sexual creature. No, no, you can't just say you're a sexual creature. You got to be like, I like to, I like to get around. Around. Yeah, I like to get around. I like to stay mobile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like to travel. I like to travel. <laughs> I'm gonna travel. <laughs> I'm gonna travel. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Papa. Because <laughs> I'm a roller stone. A roller stone. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to travel. <laughs> you feel me? <sighs> so, you know, then you'd be like, ah, okay, well, you ain't no hoe. You was, uh, at least you was honest. <laughs> so, you got, I got to realize if you ask this question, this is why, this is why I'm, I'm really, the question is layered, the relatives, because I've, this, I've been a victim of this. My sister was a Gemini, and my sister was very, my sister traveled. Because my sister travel, and you know, I couldn't say, damn, I'm not gonna talk to this dude or whatever. I used to, I did it a lot. Like, nah, I ain't no, nah, nah. And then it was you know one or two, I'm like, okay, murder, now look. Look now. Look. Okay. <laughs> now we got to come to some type of line here. Cause you was here in Atlanta before me. I'm here now. I can't help that they know you. <laughs> Cause you was busy like that. Both of y'all was busy. <laughs> Is y'all currently? You can't be currently doing that because you're doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> so you say, what is Letonia? Uh, it's cancer. Hold on. What y'all finna say about Libras? Go down. Oh, where, where? Go down. Uh, Libras aren't innocent. No, we're not. No, nobody's innocent. No, they're innocent people. Who? Libras. But we are <laughs> <laughs> Jameson is a Leo. Um, we are very much so um, 
sexual too. Libras are extremely. I'm very. I'm a very sexual creature. I, if I could fuck every day, I would fuck every day. Yeah, yeah. Every day, multiple times a day. Yeah. yeah. Again, if I could have sex every, every day, day, I would have sex every day, the same way. Uh, multiple yeah. times per day. And I can have another partner every other day. <laughs> Maybe that's a Scorpio with me. Because <laughs> I can't have another when I'm single. Now, when I'm together, when I'm when I'm in a relationship, I'm relationship oh, yeah. I can I can have I can that one person. I can multiply I can multiply that nigga. Nigga, I multiply you. You see what that I told you that 40,000 hole did with the dude that booty hole the other day? <laughs> that nigga be like, oh shit. Get off of me, bitch! Hold on. You know I'm freaky, and I'm freaky like that. It's the zone. The zone. I'm freaky like that. But when I'm single, I could be busy too. Now anybody can get it. But but here, it, yeah. When I'm single, shit. This is just shit. I could have sex multiple times a day, and multiple different people, because <laughs> I'm single. Because I'm single. See, there's a difference. <laughs> the Gemini's be in the relationship. <laughs> relationship. Having, having sex all day and multiple different people. I seen it with my eyes. Fuck it. That's true. A lot of people can't... can't Basically, they can't keep up with the sexual appetite. That's what he's saying. Well, see, you you do know that Libras, you do know that <laughs> Libras and Gemini's are this. The Libra is Libras, Gemini's, and Aquarius. We're air signs, so we all got the same vibration. So I feel what you're saying. Like when I'm telling, I I have dealt with partners that I don't be like I'm very high hypersexual. So you gonna I, I may. Like you ain't gonna have to ask me to whip roll over and suck that dick in the morning, bitch. I see that dick sitting over there in the bed while I'm like, ooh. I hope you don't got a pee, but let me get this real quick. <laughs> oh, this is dick. I understand what you're talking. About. Yeah, let me let me get this real quick. Let me let me <laughs> let me slurp this up real quick. This dick just laying there. Oh, ain't nobody ain't nobody tending to this. <laughs> Give me a piece of that. You know, I I have I've dealt with the gentleman before that I was very sexually hypersexual to that was that he was like, girl, I'm not a piece of meat. I'm like, okay, well, this means I need to move. This means that <laughs> we need I, need, this. I need to have another sexual <laughs> partner because what are we doing? JJ, you say I would let you. Oh. A mess. <laughs> I this the this the dick laying in the bed. It's over there soft and the nigga snoring. That's a cat call. To me. That's a cat call. Really? Yeah, come get it. Him snoring is a cat call. Yes, he's dreaming about something. <laughs> or, if, if that bitch hard in his sleep, he over there dreaming about something. Let me go get that bitch while it's hard in his sleep. <laughs> What you dreaming? Sometimes it just be hard for no reason. Okay, well, I handle that. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I got that. Uh, right. I don't use that word. I'm tired. That's not my. That's not my thing. Not when I'm into my nigga. When I'm into my nigga, or I'm into it's not. I, that's all I see. Like, that's all I see. That's what I want to do. I'm turned on by his essence, his presence, his, you know, that's what I'm turned on by. So let me get some of that. You know what I'm saying? And when a nigga start denying me that, something wrong. You say something wrong? Something wrong. Or how about he's tired? Nah. He something. could be tired, baby. Nah, if you something. drain this nigga, he might be tired. Something wrong. <laughs> I gave you enough time to get that nut set back full. How, how much time you give him? Be, how, no, no. Give me, Mo, give me, give me a specific time. Mo, how much time do you give him? Mo, both of me and this nigga got dicks together. <laughs> so if I bust, I know I need at least an hour, or thirty minutes, maybe even twenty five. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. I if can, you I my nigga, do. you get your dicks up before you go to work. When you get back home, from work, I may come to your job. And I do was it. just about to say you might have to show up. You I might may come to your up. job and do that. 
I need that nigga he physically tired. <laughs> that don't mean he ain't gonna cheat because a nigga be physically tired to eat some pussy. <laughs> I want you to know this. But I need that motherfucker to be like this. We will never leave this. And this bitch did not sexually satisfy me. I want to lay on my side, put my leg up, nigga. Especially if that if if I'm ready. And usually in a relationship, I'm skinny. Y'all will know when I'm in a relationship because I'm gonna get smaller. Cause I don't oh, eat, really? I don't eat as much. Oh, I be smaller. Cause I got to get that dick here anytime. <laughs> I get that dick got to hit me anytime. Mm-hmm. Not to lose weight, just to be smaller. Maybe I'm gonna be smaller. <laughs> that motherfucking dick red. You ready? You ready? Somebody put four hours. <laughs> nah, you don't need four hours. Somebody said, "Manny, Manny, you say facts." You know, when I'm in a relationship, I'm smaller. And I'm smaller because I want to get that dick then. It could. It's good, especially dealing with me. If that motherfucker does if that motherfucker does skeet and it is laying over there to all nimble like this, I'm like <laughs> well, I'm telling you. I can't. Well, nigga, wake up to me doing this. Just your nostrils all up on me. My eyes, look at here. <laughs> what you dreaming about? <laughs> what you see? <laughs> Was it me? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what you see in your sleep? Late at night when I'm alone, sleeping. What night? You see? They were good. It wasn't nothing. We got some more. Give me a little bit more. Than, you know what? We got another wine in here. I want to go from go from alcohol to get a little wine. Rich in the, rich in the fridge there. G, G brought me something. Y'all sent G something. Then sent it to he me. He told this, me what was in it. This is how I know you niggas be trying to be, be you hoes and niggas and shit be over there terrorizing my G. Leave G alone, god damn it. He told me what was in it. I can't wait to drink mine. Or let me let me sample yours real quick. What you want to do my sample for? <laughs> Don't you got your own? I do. See, okay. I ain't strong enough. You know, I'm, I, I've been taking hormones. Speaking of hormones. Yo, you dainty. Well, you get my time wrong. I'm going to fold your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> you call me Biggie Little. <laughs> <laughs> what's in that? Shake it up, G. I see a, what's floating in there. What's the name of this one? Entice? One of your friends. You say thoughts on virgins. Is is virgin still exist? Yeah, Damn. Yeah, yeah. Virgin still. All right. Well, I'm one. Shit. I'm a I'm a virgin. In Jesus' name. I am. In what sense? I am a virgin. In what sense? I've never used my eat my unit to put in no woman. I'm a golden gay. <laughs> You came close. That's not true. <laughs> you you told us stories. Me. I ain't told that. Hush your fucking mouth. <laughs> Let me call Kendra to make sure you still got my NDA. Make sure your NDA still on file. You know, hush your fucking mouth. Somebody put, ooh, y'all don't even leave him over that bullshit. <laughs> you see, now she know how I feel when she be doing that shit to don't me. Be doing the, oh, you be fucking though. <laughs> So don't you sit over here and act like that. I'm telling no lie on you. I don't. I'm a child of God. Yeah, I that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I did tell y'all about the threesome. Okay, I, I thought Mo was talking about something else. <laughs> Miss Mary no one went there. No, G. Miss Mary no one went. She got one of this in the draw. <sighs> yeah, okay, that's the one. I thought Mo was talking about something else. Maybe I would. No, you Maybe. would. You would. No, you would. <laughs> Mo, come over here and put this hormone patch on me so I can be a woman. Y'all, I've been taking put my hormone patches back on. You know, my brother in Christ, Mo, he says, you know what, man? So you are always going to be some of them. <laughs> and dainty. And dainty. <laughs> I think I need to put it right over here on the side of this. Yeah, hold on. on the side of this thing right here, right there, so that I could, it could just absorb inside my titty. 
right here. And don't stick your right hand here. on yeah. I'm not. Don't stick your hand on the floor and put some it put some mass yes, no, some testosterone <laughs> in it. <laughs> put, put it right there. You know. That's it. Over there. Yeah, now mash it. There it is. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My voice immediately changed. Thank you. Also, oh, so oh, and so. Thank you. <laughs> they say, "Wow, that titty me." Uh, There's a lot of titty me. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> Let me get that bass. Thank you. Anytime, anytime. Oh, see, you glad don't you bet? Don't put your finger on that. <laughs> what this CLG? Who gave you this? What's in it? The infused wine. 10%. Oh, shit. THC. That's why I said I can't wait to get mine. Give Miss Mary some. <laughs> Y'all scared to give Miss Mary. I'll be fucking Miss Mary up. <laughs> Y'all over there scared of Miss Mary. I'll be fucking Miss Mary ass. Why do, you, why do you be terrorizing that woman? Miss Mary love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I Let me this. Miss, I fucks Miss Mary up. When we was out to eat one night. What? Well, who was it, Mo? You was there. You was there too, G. I had got her fucking mojito. Oh, okay. <laughs> she oh. said, "Oh, this sprite tastes funny." <laughs> <laughs> she said, "She said, oh, this sprite, this sprite tastes funny." She said, "But it's good though." <laughs> <laughs> I remember because Miss Mary was like, "I'm drunk." She said, "It's hot over here." <laughs> she came to me. She was like, "I'm drunk." <laughs> she was like, it's hot. G, put them strong hands over there and show them his bottle. Put them, them, them masculine hands <clears throat> over there, honey. There it is. Whoop. Don't show them your tattoos for one of them end up <laughs> <laughs> being able to identify you. <laughs> like, I don't know, because that's how I find all y'all niggas. Really? I'll be like this. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that too. But uh, listen, if you hide them motherfuckers away, you can find. But you can't hide that tattoo. Yeah, that's how I used to catch all the motherfuckers. That's why. That's why you can't see nothing on mine. You on, my, on me, you never find nothing. Listen, I ain't doing nothing. I'm hiding from. If I'm getting in front of the camera, I'm gonna get in that bitch naked. Head <laughs> in everything. <laughs> everything, motherfucker. Uh, it said, "Be well, Madison." Hold on. Uh, <laughs> hold on now. You say you do this to your grandma, you gave her a gummy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nah, I can't fuck my zero like that. Uh, my breasts are not implants. My breasts is actually flesh. My breasts are flesh. My breasts are hormones and silicone. I don't have breast implants. My seal, my seal was directly injected into the splash directly. <laughs> That's why them bitches is like Evian water. <laughs> <sighs> they say they know that arm uh, everywhere, G. Yep. Yep. They said that arm um, look real familiar. <laughs> they say, hey, hey, G, what's up? <laughs> My titties are... <laughs> said, so Earth Love said... That all look real familiar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Baby, that's why my titties is to, to do that. That's why my titties able to, to roll around like that. And they my titties ain't like implant titties that be this way. My titties drop like like titties drop. That's why them bitches is so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers is heavy. They said that thumb look for me. Who booted up in here? <laughs> <laughs> Who booted that thumb up in here? That's the extra strong thumb. That's that Hulk Hogan thumb. That's that, that's that green Hulk smash thumb. <laughs> Pussy been getting dug out of this. They said, let me press in this booty hole real quick. Bloop. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I told G to touch, touch the back of my throat. Oh, Glizzy got it. After you, G. Wait, what's in it? Wait, it's infused. Man. Okay, put this back in the refrigerator. 
<laughs> Why you, your eyes, your eyes lit up. Very woo <laughs> You just need a spoonful of this. All right, y'all, I'm about to check my DMs. Hold on. No, I can't go so that I can't throw that back like that. Mm-mm. But I tell right step Miss Smith. Oh, and, uh, JD did uh send me the stuff about the uh sh- the shooting. They did. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll put it up. Uh, we already. Oh, for Monday. Yeah, we'll put it in for Monday. We already a couple hours in now. Have y'all seen the movie? Um, talk to me. Have you seen it, G? Oh, for real. I liked it. Talk to me. Have y'all seen <laughs> Talk to Me? Have y'all seen it? Listen, Maddie, stop hoeing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you loved it? No, not talk to me with beat by Petey Green. I'm talking about talk to me with the hand. Have y'all seen oh, it? Oh, that yeah. I, I, I mean, it looked it looked good. It looked good. It looked good. G, why your eyes to the side like that? You already had bought vodka. To the sound in my heart. Oh, Jim, I said it was corny. Uh there was a oh, there, oh. What? I'm gonna show it to you. Is that for Monday? Yeah, it looks like it. No, no, that's not the shooter. That's a uh football man. I I I think so. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah, side Man, the way she stiff on her. That's a long road football game These two beef? Yeah. Watch what happened though. Oh yeah, this bitch can fight right here. <laughs> you can't tell this bitch can fight. No, we need to put this in here. Die. Oh, for real? This okay. bitch can fight. Look. It wasn't even a fight. It don't even look like it's gonna be. It wasn't even a yeah, she asked for this. Yep. Yeah, she asked for that. That was an asking. That was. No, we'll put that in Monday. Okay. That was an ass. Oh my God. Oh yeah, we're riding on a freak. Yeah, but anyway, before I get into that, I want to finish telling y'all. I want to finish telling y'all my Miss Mary story. G was there. Mo was there. <laughs> Chi Chi was there. And I had told the wait. I said, bring me a. I said, she going to have a Sprite. They brought the mojito to the table. She said, this Sprite, when they stop putting a. Uh... <laughs> When they start putting flowers and stuff in the spray, <laughs> it gives it more flavor. And she, oh, and she guzzled it. She did because she was thirsty, and she's like, mm, "Oh, this this sprite tastes different." Oh my god, <laughs> I loved every fucking second of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> we, listen, we went over there to the. Uh, we went to go see the uh, the the uh, talk to me. Uh, is that the Beyonce? Oh, oh! You see, Miss Mary had her Miss G. Miss Mary had her champagne because they put us up there in the champagne bar. Miss Mary was throwing her champagne bag, but she said, "Why? Oh, I, I just feel oh." And you know, she always talk about how fine G is. Oh, G, you look so fine. And I said, "Mama, get some wet side out." She would have tell G how fine he was again. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I left home. I left G and Miss Mary over there. <laughs> Why they were caking? Well, well, I left them over there. I said, just protect her. <laughs> Actually, I need to get security for you. So to from Miss Mary. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, well, what we got here to close us out with? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got. Do we have it? Don't nothing bad. No, no. Some funny stuff. What that is right there? Oh, this? You mean this? Yeah, what is that? No, it got music on it. No. no I don't. Does it? Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. I remember listening to music on it. And then this is like a podcast. So I can find it right don't there. play it. So I, I would have to screenshot that. But no, I mean, what else do we have? Oh, let's see. Right here. What is here? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, uh, five Mexican students. Murdered. Oh, 
on camera by cartel after lure to meet them for fake job. Well, what kind of job? <laughs> I'm sorry. And this is not no funny thing, but what kind of job? Oh, no. How you going to learn? You're not learning me nowhere <laughs> to find a motherfucking thing. You're not luring me. First of all, send me my deposits. To <laughs> Zell me. Zell me. You say, why you can't find a video with the cat at the cross? Moby deleting all that stuff, child. Well, that's because, you know, I got to make room for other stuff. The Bible says make room, but I thought we had enough room. You know, some, some of these things. Oh, we, I, we still have the cat. With the cross man but well, like, we ain't talking about that right now how you get lured somewhere i don't know it ain't too much you could tell me that's gonna lure me down no alley <laughs> ain't too much you it's finna tell me especially out of mexico in mexico yeah nah bitch i'm not leaving the resort <laughs> them motherfuckers be out there on the beach in mexico trying to get you some rolled up weed no 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 i was out in uh uh, where me and that child went? Was it the Hondur Was it Honduras? Yeah, we was in Honduras, right? Uh -huh. And the person I went with, we was in Honduras. The, the the white people was over there. Them white people was they was walking down the beach. Them motherfucking people was buying weed from the people off the beach, and I just seen them. It was already rolled up, and then white people just went to just smoke. And my friend was with me. Was I said, nigga, you hit that shit. I'm leaving you here. <laughs> You hit that shit and you go to come, you go to doing this and moving around and right. shit. I'm leaving you here. Man, the white people was was puffing. I'm not finna smoke nobody's pre roll nothing. Nothing. You can't do that. Right. So you can't do that in Georgia. I'm not Georgia's finna not smoke nobody's pre roll anything. You pre roll any. So you're not finna lure me off into no bushes. <laughs> Into no thing about no child. How five of y'all? Five of y'all was walking in the same line and ain't nobody asked no question. Like, what we want? Right. In in Mexico, ain't nobody say, "Well, what you?" No, and Maddie, I, you know what has me thinking about this is that because they said it's the cartel, I have a feeling that they there was something deeper than just them killing them because cartel don't usually just kill people for fun i don't know what been chewing on me but i know i'm ate up they don't they don't kill people just for they don't kill random people i don't know what been chewing on me but i know i'm ate up <laughs> philly boy you say this your wine baby i don't know what's oh for real is that your wine I, I, I oh was... yeah it's, it's on his uh Ice. it's on his profile picture okay that, yeah, yo, yo, this wine. Yeah. I don't know what what was split. You can I play that video again? <laughs> that, right, do it, Paul. <laughs> I don't know what been chewing on me, but I know I'm ate up. <laughs> this wine, I ain't even gonna front with you. Yeah, look, you know, I got to realize the nigga still realize. <laughs> <laughs> they say add some bolt to it, nah, nah, nah. nah that, that we won't be right. We won't be. We'll be just chilling, right? Stuck. Yeah, I thought, right. right. Yeah. Um. They, they um they're at Nikki's asking how do how do they uh how does she get some? Yeah, yes. Forty. <laughs> I can't. Wait. Now, I'm, I'm kind of like in a stuck place. <laughs> My eyes are heavy. Yeah. So we got to go. We gonna go ahead on the go, y'all. <laughs> Be all night. Oh, shit, my eyes really all heavy. Listen. They heavy more. Yeah. So you got nuts for eyes now? No, I don't. You don't? Nah, nah. I never had heavy nuts. You ever had heavy nuts, Mo? You had heavy, heavy nuts. Oh, okay. I don't get. I don't. I don't wait that long. Oh no. Nah. You know, there's sometimes you might go on a 
You go on a sabbatical. You go on a yeah. You go on. A, you go on a. Uh, a drive. That's why I take my hormone pads, so I don't have to go through all of that. Oh yeah, because you because you're a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we be all night. Whoa, <laughs> what was that? Whoa, <laughs> I don't think she's saying it like that. Yeah, I don't think she's saying saying it like That's that. That's right. See, I'm saying a lady. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not B B B B I attack. Well, I tell you, I thank God. Hallelujah. Hey, but I your pussy. Hey, bring the camera some. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with pussy, your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy. Linear pussy and tight pussy perish with you. <laughs> I could watch that all day. I had to go back to that. Maddie, I could watch that all day. I was clicking day. trying to find where it was at, but this shit is why I had me a little twisted. I'm over here clicking trying to find where it's at. And then I, we Wait, is that why you were pressing all yeah, those? I was pressing all the buttons. <laughs> I was really trying to find Santana. That's what I really was trying to find. I didn't mean to put my pussy with Persia Jewel here. I was trying to find motherfucking Santana. And I can't think straight. Hold on. Just be... <laughs> <laughs> like, like when they say actions speak louder than words. That was perfectly. That was a perfect example. Let me tell y'all something. Santana didn't fuck off. <laughs> she said, "Fuck y'all." Santana said, I'm "Fuck out this, here. I'm out." <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out. Anything oh. that you talk about, I don't got nothing to do with that. Oh. I'm out this bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, anyway, baby, I love you, but my bad comes first. My bad comes first. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I love y'all like a fat bitch. Love chocolate chip cookies and cake. Yes. I'm. I'm a little. You know. On Twisted is so contradicted. Something, 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 something. That is Surprise, you ain't your favorite song recently. Which one? Yeah. Oh, I can't. I'm oh, a... she been singing that thing around you lately? Uh, I, I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you. It was bad. It was off the chain. It was quiet and she was singing dangerously in love. Like, you know, she was singing. They listen. Baby, I love you. You are my life. <laughs> really? No. Don't put it on here. Mo, 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 we got to go. Bye, y'all. We got to go, Mo. Bye, y'all. We got to go. Hey, everybody, this is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand or a product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Shh, quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton and you'll be glad you did. I promise. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here.
Ciao. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is, right there. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Damn.